Hello, precious people of God. Trust you are doing well by the grace of God. We thank God for yet another day to spend time with Him, another day to commune with Him. I want us to take a short exercise, and that is, I want you to click on that like button to help spread this good news abroad. I want you to help us share this good news, and that YouTube will also recommend this channel, this video to others, and they will also be a blessing. Also, let's take a short reading from Job chapter 38, verses 12. It says, Has thou commanded the morning since thy days, and then caused the day spring to know its place? Now, this tells us of the great opportunities, of the great blessings we enjoy as children of God when we speak into our day. And so, it is what we are about to do. Open your heart, be alert, prepare your spirit as we receive inspiring messages from the man of God, Apostle Joshua Selman. Also, if you are new here, hit on that subscribe button for us and then on that notification bell. Keep sharing this message abroad, keep sharing on Facebook, keep sharing on YouTube to invite others to join us as we bless the world. You are a blessing. Thank you. For as long as you continue to embrace the person of the Holy Spirit, for as long as you continue to be childlike enough and allow his word to change you, I give you a guarantee. It's a guarantee. Your life will surprise you. It's true. It's true. It's true. The system for the lifting of men in the kingdom will never change. It will never be uniquely constructed just because of you. What you think about it or don't think about it makes no difference. The way, you see, God does not align to our terms. No. We are the ones who will humble ourselves and align to his ways. Are we together? If at all God is merciful, he stretches his hands to bring you. Not that he stretches to leave his position. So the idea is not to invent your way. You don't seek God at his terms. It's pride. And let me tell you something. Please listen to me. Many preachers are getting it wrong. The way they are building people will frustrate them somewhere along the line is true now i i must confess to you it is difficult to build people holistically it is very difficult because our individual callings you see the way god works with men is that because of his call upon your life he tilts you towards a dimension of himself and you will have to focus in that area to gain mastery the side effect of that focus is that you will trivialize other areas are we together now if god has called me into the ministry of healing for instance chances are that because of my focus my staying in that area all the books i read all the conferences i go to will be along the healing ministry chances are that i will pay little attention to leadership and administration because it has not been captured in my experience with god that is the reason why the unity of the body is important because seeking God in that way has a side effect but he created the unity of the body to give that balance now my refusal to align with the body will make me mentor people along a line and very soon you will see a pattern of deficiency in a particular dimension it was produced by we preachers so i can you can see people who are prosperous powerful but they have no regard for spiritual things no regard no intelligence no nothing excellence yes sir administration yes sir leadership yes sir prosperity as much as we know financially speaking yes sir but their spirits are it's unfortunate the knowledge of God zero passion for God zero 
evangelism zero conformity to the life and the character of christ zero every time you see a prevalent pattern within a people the communicators the shapers the molders of their understanding are to be blamed and so i admit to you as a man of god that it is difficult to build people holistically it's very difficult very difficult because sometimes you will have to go out of your natural inclination with god to supply that balance but it is worth it if you love people are you getting what i'm saying our passions are not only dependent on the holy spirit they are also dependent on our age ranges please listen carefully this is not what i'm teaching tonight i just want to express something a young man seeking god from between the ages of 10 to maybe 25 or 30 because of the the reality that most likely a major part of that young man's life in terms of needs and all of that is being there is usually someone who is helping him out with his decisions with resources are we together so it is justifiable that that young man does not seem to see any need in developing his mind and trying to make sure that resources are available for instance a man of 35 to 50 has his passions altered because children have come into the equation their development has come into the equation there are responsibilities at this point the implication of your life and your decisions no longer affect you alone they affect society is that true they affect the faith of another person they affect the destinies of the young ones that you are raising biologically or otherwise and then a man who is from 50 upwards his passions his interest is also different so you have to be careful you have to look at these factors in opening your spirit to be mentored are you listening to what i'm saying if i listen to a man of 65 years or 70 years he has a lot to tell me in terms of experience and knowledge but the truth is that it will be unfair for my desire and interest and passions to be forced to resonate with him i will find out that that conformity will affect my growth process are you getting what i'm saying so when god calls a man god does not only give you a message god gives you an age range where your message and ministry becomes effective most preachers don't know this if i preach to elderly people now of say maybe 60 years to 80 years let me tell you the truth they are not going to be touched by my message they will only be impressed that the things they learned old i learned young at the end of that message they won't stand up and say my i couldn't sleep no there is nothing i would tell them that is worth lacking sleep the mistake has been made the lessons have been learned their focus is on pouring their lives to a younger generation please listen to me don't hate anybody but be careful who mentors you because you will be a reproduction of not only the mindset but the interests the perspectives is important the bible says david served his generation served his generation a man can be talking to you who has estates a man can be talking to you who has 30 branches as a pastor a man can be talking to you who has raised sons and daughters around the world and the truth is he does not really have any need a man can be talking to you from the perspective of his sabbath he has entered his sabbath experientially there are some things that he will not have the time to teach you are we together they will be focusing on maintaining certain levels not helping you get there because he has arrived there and chances are that when you learn from him you will only maintain your current level he's teaching you maintenance not growth are we together 
the way I teach and guide people 10, 15 years ago. I'm still a young man, but it's not the same context. Are we together? People are married now. They have families. Their needs are shifting. Their needs are changing. So a young man can have a fellowship where 99% of the people are unmarried. 99% are students, just got admission. The context of his teaching, his example, his emphasis. I don't expect that kind of person to be teaching on love and relationship and all of that. No. The, the messages in that kind of cycle should be very finite. God, the Holy Spirit, pressing into God. Are we together? There's no issue of counseling over love and relationship. I, I, it's on seriousness at that level. Because the, the epicenter of their pursuit should be God, to know Him. But a good leader, not just a man of God, must be able to bring relevant teachings that align with the transitory processes of people's lives otherwise a time will come where your message may be powerful but no longer relevant you see people only stay under you when they can see the applicability of your messages not the power that is dispensed from them you will be surprised that your message can become so powerful but the context of your communication no longer fits those people so you must learn are you getting blessed i don't want you to fail in life spiritually and otherwise so my assignment is not just to bring the word of god the power of the holy ghost my assignment is to be sensitive and to bring the teachings as we all transition together are we together so that children will not come and you find out that in everything you've learned about god there was no provision to grow spiritually while taking care of your family then you have to live your spiritual life to take care of your family because the preacher did not tell you in his teaching you you know god based on his teaching only if you don't have children but now when you have children there is no system of incorporating other things and the pursuit of god when he was teaching you how to know god you were probably a student who had all the time but right now you are not only a worker you are a supervisor and he's still giving you the template of someone who has eight hours free to love god are you seeing that now and that may no longer work and you will feel guilty that because you could not do the things you were doing before the way you are doing them based on his interpretation he will make you feel you are backsliding not knowing that every face has a strategy for remaining spiritual are you getting what i'm saying now if you don't learn this a day will come certain quality of people will never come to your church because your message does not capture god as presented to people within that frame of influence remember he told elijah eat for the journey is far by the time you become a managing director who may be in a country just for two months in a whole year the man of god must be able to bring a strategy for spiritual growth that will give you the same result as an idle student who has eight hours in his disposal otherwise you will find out that you apply your your eight hours with god every day formula and you find out that you are knowing god but your company is crashing and then you say kai what is all this then he will tell you leave the company and focus on god then you focus on god and find out that something about your life is becoming ineffective many believers are afraid because the things they used to do the transitions in their lives no longer afford them all the time again i never would have believed that my life would be this busy and this occupied time is gold for me you see that that means there must be a system of time redemption such that my spiritual life does not suffer and other things also will not suffer are you getting blessed so we have people who know god but they are not blessed we have people who get to a point and certain kinds of people cannot come to hear 
the word of God upon their lips. The reason is because they do not have an applicable message or a pattern that ministers Christ to them. Being a man of God is not just having power and the ability to speak. Hallelujah. I used to preach a lot faster than I do now. But I came to a point where I had to ask myself, what exactly is the purpose of preaching? What is the purpose of communication? And I found out that the purpose is understanding. It is terrible to have people sit under you for many years and really never understand you. You may be impressed by their shouting, Woo! and you will be so flattered. Let me tell you the truth with all humility. You see, there are levels when God brings you to every point that you are under pressure to prove has been proven. So settle down and build people. You see that? Yes. I will be a foolish person at this level of my life to be proving that the anointing of the Spirit is upon me. To be proving whether I have access to revelations or not. It's not pride. These realities have been proven. The thing to prove now is the hand of God by the lives you raise. Now, you can go on to a secondary school or a campus and see a young guy under pressure for someone to shout under the anointing because at that level, he's seeking for validation. So his pressure will be that the, if at the end of that meeting, only two people fall, he can go back and lock the door for three days. Say, Lord, what happened? That's the reason why you see people like Papa Ia Deboe. They just come and say, the Lord bless you. And I mean, they are so not concerned whether you shout or not. They, they know what they are giving you. It's up to you to believe whether you have it or not. Someone can be falling in their presence and truly speaking, you see that they are not interested. The point has been proven. You can't keep proving a point forever. You must win yourself out of that childishness and focus on building people. My pride now, let me tell you this. At the level God has brought me by his grace, my pride is no longer my results my pride is your results if i celebrate my results now tea and bread see everybody come and look god gave me tea it's a sign that i've failed god has been fair enough to me now my own result is your result are you seeing that now so my focus has shifted it's not just on myself God has helped me. God has tried for me. I will be wicked to still think about myself. I don't go to preach and wondering, will they give me honorarium? And if yes, how much will it be? No, no. My heart, God sees, is that Lord, you have helped me. You have granted me understanding. Now Lord, let your word prevail over your people. You see that? So that from nowhere, a young man, rises with a strange level of grace a family is able to capture dimensions of god that they can reveal you are finding purpose you are finding your place in life you are causing and stirring revivals across territories this for me is my joy a time must come fatherhood is not all about growing old it's all about pouring yourself into people and witnessing with all humility the consistency of the truths of God. The truths of the kingdom that make men great are finite. You can know them. It is the pursuit of God that is infinite. Are you getting what I'm saying? The, the keys that you need to piece together like you can get to a final year and your lecturer says you are finished. You say I finished what? You say you finished the course. It doesn't mean you have finished learning. But you have safely exhausted all that it takes to be awarded a certificate. That can happen in the spirit. That you can learn the things you need to know about certain things. And God says now your message is clear. Your priority. What keeps you fresh now? 
is not just new revelations but the freshness of his presence that's why in old age you will still be fat and flourishing because you are planted are we together when you listen to papa deboe or you listen to benny hill and they talk the truth is that most of what they say will not necessarily be new to you but why do you receive it it comes with a freshness that 45 years of ministry has not eroded are you getting what i'm saying now yes god sees my heart i detest a ministry where only the man of god or the man of god and a few people they are the ones who are prayer warriors they are the ones who are loving god they are the ones who are conforming into his character and then there is a there are the masses of followers as we call them who broke weak don't know god and for many years they remain loyal to that anointing it's not god's way of doing things three years was enough for jesus to build certain people and after that like the foxes of samson he released them he said guys i know you want me to stay but it is expedient that i go because it's time for you to be on the stage too and did they succeed they turned the world upside down i look at a few people who god is helping god is helping all of us but i look at us and our spiritual results i look at our financial results i look at our results of influence and all and i'm telling you my heart is gladdened i know i remain committed to helping you become something that you may not understand now or appreciate but at the end of your life i still say it again you will stand back and watch yourself and say god so this is where you are going to take me to hallelujah pray in one minute say lord where i have not been attentive to you take away my pride take away that pride give me the grace son pay attention to my words incline your ears to my sayings do not let them depart from out of your mouth keep them in the midst of your heart it says they are life to those who find them and health to their flesh Within me rise. Let that entrepreneur within me rise. Let that Deborah, let that Milka, let that Hannah, Rachel within me rise. This is why I am here. Let that man of kingdom influence within me rise. It is for your glory. It is for your kingdom. An heir as long as is a child differeth not from a slave but is under tutors and governors until the time appointed. Lord, I will listen. Hallelujah. Tonight I'm going to teach us briefly, just very briefly, just to prepare the ground for the seven days. By the way, please, I don't want you to miss any of these days. I'm, my heart is already excited because of what God is going to be doing. Your life will so change it to surprise you. We're going to be sharing mysteries and we're going to be praying one mystery per day that you handle and it just sets you on fire and we'll pray we're going to have a time of intense prayer praying in the spirit 
repositioning yourself times of encounters times of restoration of mantles of graces times of opening of new spiritual dimensions yes the prophetic is there but needs to be enlarged the apostolic is there but needs to be enlarged it's true that the healing ministry is there but it needs to be enlarged capacity please don't miss it this is not some activity of men no seven o'clock you are here no matter how long it takes to start just be here anywhere if you there is no space somewhere this is not a koinonia program this is a visitation that god is bringing to the land it will be a time of strange miracles few hours but the impact will linger upon your spirit make sure you fast please fast let the little children fast give them a little time they may not be able to fast six to six but except you are pregnant or under medical supervision then that that's all right but even at that doesn't mean you just eat anything anyhow are we together let your spirit be alive please off off useless movies films just suspend it for a while i beg you they don't have to be wrong all these social media distractions minimize it focus on god focus on god let what will play from your phone and your screens be worshiped give god one week and let him expand you you can't put new wine in an old wine skin so let god replace the wine skin so that it can take something heavier for the seasons that are coming hallelujah the protocol department will make arrangements will try to see how the buses will be available at least to bring in people and will try to finish on time but it's going to be seven days of fire in this place seven days of the strange move of the spirit epochal revelations of the truth of god's word that if and when you handle them will turn your life around hallelujah don't come alone invite someone years ago when i went for an Arbonke crusade there was no seat i stood there for six hours six solid hours because i was hungry when you are hungry you don't even see the color of the cloth of your neighbor your eyes are fixed he said if your eye be single your heart will be full of life don't just come to hear come to see you can argue with what you hear but you cannot argue with what you see i will stand upon my watch and i will set myself upon the tower so that i will see what the lord will say the lord is saying but my eyes are seeing it is what you see that you get not just what you hear. the lord put a strong burden in my heart this night just a few minutes let's talk about it the spirit of wisdom your spirit opens to me the treasures of your world and i will forever sing your praise your spirit i will sing of the wonders of your world i will sing I will see of the wonders of your word, and I will forever sing your praise. James chapter 1, verse 5. Forever sing your praise. The Bible says, if any of you lack wisdom. So the Bible tells us it is possible that a man can lack wisdom. It does not stop him from being a human being. It is possible to live without the wisdom of God at work in you. And it says, if any of you lack wisdom. The question here before we read on is how do you know you lack wisdom 
because you only ask when you don't have it but how do i know that i do not have wisdom because remember the bible says every man is right in his own eyes so based on what parameter what parameter do i use to arrive at the conclusion that i am bankrupt of wisdom there is nobody i know on earth with the exception of few people who will admit that they are not wise is that true you try telling somebody who considers himself a gentleman and say i don't think you are exactly wise and you think the person will laugh at you and say wow i'm just learning that no you're going to have a big problem the person is not wise me am i a madman do i look like one but the bible says if any of you realizes that he lacks wisdom so the first assignment is not to ask the first assignment is to find out how do you know that the wisdom of god that the spirit of wisdom is working in your life are we together now there must be a system in the kingdom that god has provided to help men understand so i can come to the conclusion because you see as human beings it is very difficult for us to admit that certain things are not working in our lives especially for believers we are people of faith and sometimes we can exaggerate it and admitting the deficiency of certain qualities in our lives is not natural for men to admit are we together now yes When you tell someone he can't cook, say, no, 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 I can't cook. What are you? I mean, this is it. You are evidently seeing that this meal is not servable. And the person is saying, I can cook. Because in his eyes, this is a wonderful meal. Are we together? You are seeing a gentleman who is not looking smart. And you're saying, no, 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 you are not dressing smart. Say, no, 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 I mean, as far as I'm concerned, I'm very, very okay. So it is difficult. I'm explaining to you this, this, if any man lack wisdom, it's a very deep process to arrive at a point. Let me tell you, realizing whatever makes you come to a point where you know you do not have wisdom has to be the spirit of God. The arrogance of men does not allow for that level of admission. We can secretly desire to be wiser we can secretly admire individuals who the spirit of wisdom is evidently working in but to outspokenly admit no it's very uncomfortable are we together but the bible says if any of you lack wisdom let him ask who let him ask of god that give it unto how many men so the manifestation of the wisdom of god in the life of a believer is not privy to certain intelligent people it's not privy to apostles and prophets no the giving of this operation of the spirit is given to all men he says he does so liberally and then an upbraided not and it shall be given that means if I look at your life and I do not see wisdom, I am safe to conclude at certain things. Number one, that you have not received. And you receive not because you have not asked. And you ask not because you have not seen the deficiency in your life. Are you seeing that now? That means if you look at my life and your life, and I am bankrupt of the wisdom of God, not the wisdom of men that comes to naught, the wisdom of God if it is not in my life the Bible says if I ask it should be given so if it is not in my life and God is benevolent it means that I have not genuinely asked and I have not asked because I have not seen the need and when there was no more vessel the oil stopped that means something about my understanding. I have indoctrinated myself into believing that I have sufficient wisdom. Let me tell you the formula that the Bible designed for men to know whether there is wisdom in their lives or not. Wisdom is very vocal. The Bible says wisdom is justified by her children. Wisdom is justified 
by her children. There are fruits in your life and my life that validates the presence of wisdom. There has to be fruits in your life and my life. There are things I cannot as a human being be sure of whether you have them or not. I leave that to God. Wisdom is not part of those. Because if the wisdom of God is functioning in the life of an individual, it is justified by the results. Children there talks of the results. The proceedings that come from a life that is under the influence of wisdom. So how do you know tonight whether or not the wisdom of God and more so the spirit of wisdom is at work? Very simple. Look at your results. Look at your life. Unbiasedly. Look at your life unashamedly. And then you can come to the conclusion that mm -mm, the repetition of pain the repetition of failure listen carefully the repetition of struggle the repetition of hardship the repetition of the absence of the power the grace the favor of God in your life is a testament that the spirit of wisdom may not be at work in you the spirit of God is at work in you but that dimension of wisdom May not be at work in you. Are you blessed? Lack of the wisdom of God is what is responsible for the anxiety of men. You know what it means to be anxious? Worrisome. The fear that plagues people, you will always fear until you know what to do. And he himself knew what he ought to do. The Bible took out time to talk about anxiety. Philippians chapter 4. And when you read from verse 6 to 7. It says be anxious for nothing. Please give it to us. Let's, let's look at it before we, we talk some more about wisdom. It says be. The word careful there does not just mean be careless. It means be anxious for nothing. But in everything by prayer. We see prayer again. You leave that. We are going to touch that later. But it says be anxious for nothing. But in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your request be made known to God. There is an information that can take away anxiety. Anxiety, let me tell you something. It's not proof that Satan is around you. It's proof that the spirit of wisdom is not at work in your life. It's an uncomfortable truth we must admit. Our world is full of people dying of anxiety. Where will this come from? Where will, I mean, what, no, no. The pain and fear. Jesus took half of a whole chapter to talk about worry. Spoke about the birds of the air that break a spiritual law that is responsible for abundance. He says, yet your father, yet not Solomon, arrayed in all of his splendor and apparel, is like one of these. Anxiety is proof that the spirit of wisdom is not at work. Anxiety stems from uncertainty. There is a level of uncertainty that is around our lives, financially speaking, spiritually speaking. So you are about to um, do certain things, embark on your life's journey, and then because of the gaps of uncertainty, you find out that there is worry and anxiety unbelief comes in fear comes in because of fear you become self-centered because you are aware that something about you will fail so you become possessive self-centered angry and all these other elements come in i found a very interesting scripture we're going to read it and then i'll define for you what wisdom is psalms 119 from verse 98 to 100 psalms 119 from verse 98 to 100 are we there read it please one to read ah uh ah -uh. one to read thou through their thy commandments 
have made me wiser than my enemies for they are ever before me next verse I have more understanding than all my teachers for your testimonies are my meditation the last verse I understand more than the ancient stop stop don't rush it I understand more than my enemies you made me wiser than my enemies you made me wiser than my teachers and you made me wiser than the ancient and there is a key we're coming there are we together it says thou by thy commandments by thy laws ah, you have made me wiser wiser than my enemies so i can rise wiser than my teachers wiser than the ancient because i have kept your secret Psalms 104 verse 24. Psalm 104 verse 24. Oh Lord, how manifold are thy works. Everybody say results. I want you to read it just the first line, but change works with results. Ready? One to read. Oh Lord, how manifold are thy results. How did the results come about? In wisdom, thou hast made them all. Lord, I look at your life and it's full of mighty works. Results. And the psalmist was careful to let us know that they did not just happen because you are God. It is by engaging wisdom. Wisdom. That these possibilities have been made manifest and the earth is full of your riches which is one of the results that you have produced in wisdom there is a relationship between results and wisdom there is a relationship between riches and wisdom how manifold how multifaceted how awe-inspiring are your works what is wisdom i put a definition here wisdom is possessing scriptural solutions scriptural solutions to life's challenges and engaging them appropriately wisdom is possessing scriptural solutions to life's challenges and engaging them appropriately possessing scriptural solutions to life's challenges and engaging them appropriately what is wisdom knowing what to do and doing it wisdom is knowing what to do and doing it if there is no doing it is not wisdom wisdom is knowing what to do and doing it possessing the scriptural solution there are many solutions there are many ways that seem it right unto a man but the end thereof will justify what way he took so scriptural solutions to life's challenges and then having the possession of those solutions you engage them appropriately you are wise if you do that are we together so you have wisdom to the degree to which we see you preferring scriptural solutions to the challenges that are around your life and others and the results that they produce many people listen to me do not possess this quality and there is an operation of the spirit that can make men to have this quality lavishly that regardless of your age listen carefully regardless of your educational background regardless of what your level of orientation that you can be um you can have a an influence of this dimension of the holy spirit at work in your life and all of a sudden your life opens up 
wonder after wonder a comprehension of the scriptural solutions listen to me if i ask everyone now write your prayer request and bring it here right now there are people who are going to ask for pages not pieces of papers every one thing that you are writing is in need of an answer is that true the bible says the spirit of wisdom is able to route you in a way and manner that you possess the keys that it takes to turn that request into your testimony and then the fortitude to engage the laws you now know until the results become evident in your life is called wisdom proverbs chapter 4 and verse 7 to 9 proverbs chapter 4 please don't trivialize what i'm teaching you tonight wisdom is the principal thing it's using a business terminology now wisdom is the principal thing it says therefore get wisdom and with all thy getting get understanding verse 8 exalt her personifies wisdom now exalt her like you would do a lady you love exalt her is that true like you see a man treat his wife that he so loves he says exalt her and there is a reward for exalting her prize her above all else and she shall do what what is responsible for promotion it is true that god is the lifter of men but the dimension of him that lifts men is his wisdom meaning if you are in a position for a long time it's not just an attack from hell but it's a sign that the spirit of wisdom is not at work the spirit of wisdom creates motion in your life it not only creates motion it creates an upgrade to your life it is because of the presence of this possibility that the bible says the path of the just is like the shining light that shines ever brighter onto the perfect day exalt her and she shall promote thee now listen ah, it says she shall bring thee to honor it did say she shall bring thee honor honor is here it's not just a it's not just an attribute it's a realm of existence that wisdom can like an usher say follow me i will lead you somewhere regardless of your background as a preacher as a businessman as a mother a father wisdom can usher you and whilst you follow her foolishly you will get into a realm the name of that realm is honor not an event it is how you live honor that wisdom can bring a man to honor when thou dost embrace her are we together like ruth held on to naomi i'm not leaving you i have seen the value of your presence in my life your god will be my god your people will be my people exalt her and she shall promote thee she shall bring thee to honor this is what people are looking for they are looking for promotion in the spirit they are looking for promotion in finances promotion in influence men of god are struggling trusting god increase in membership increase in whatever this is the formula god gives us and we ignore him and then we keep searching around verse 9 this is what the bible says she shall give to thy head hallelujah an ornament of grace a crown of glory shall she deliver who is the she here wisdom wisdom that for embracing wisdom it can veto your background it can veto any other thing in your life brothers and sisters and bring you to this possibility this is the realm that we all desire to get there and the bible tells you that the way to get there is wisdom are we together yes the bible says through wisdom a house is built a house is built not through desire through desire the intention to build is there but the actual building 
is true wisdom this ministry brothers and sisters you see was built and is being maintained by wisdom every great man and woman you acknowledge around the world every great enterprise that you see and admire everyone who has come to a position of influence in the kingdom has done so by the manifestation of the spirit of wisdom years ago i was listening to pat robertson the founder of cbn 700 club and he said as a young man when he was about to start ministry he said he went to the lord he said lord i'm a young man about to start give me three things number one he said give me wisdom number two he said give me favor number three he said give me the anointing of the spirit ah, i went back to god too and i said lord thank god i'm still young number one give me wisdom boy i stayed there before moving to favor because i knew that that wisdom it, I, my life was so bankrupt of it how else would i have gotten it our society is full of unwise people it's not an insult it's a description they are sincere people but their decisions and their results are very clear that the wisdom of god of god not sophia not human wisdom we're talking of a dimension of wisdom here that has nothing to do with age and not necessarily education and all of that the wisdom of god the faculty to produce result as god at god's level the spirit of wisdom deuteronomy chapter 34 and verse 9 the reason why joshua excelled was not just that he was anointed joshua always had the anointing the anointing was there but the bible says and joshua the son of Nun, was full of what the spirit of wisdom he was already full of the spirit and yet Moses was told to lay hands on him. How do you lay hands on someone who is already filled with the spirit? And Joshua the son of Nun was full of the spirit of wisdom. Not full of wisdom. Full of the spirit of wisdom. For Moses had laid his hands upon him. And the children of Israel hearkened unto him. And he did as the Lord commanded Moses. Joshua, full of the spirit of wisdom. Joshua, full of the spirit of wisdom. No wonder when Moses died, there was nothing much for God to tell him again. He said, Moses, my servant is dead. Joshua, my only encouragement is for you to be strong. You already have the spirit of wisdom. Mm. You have it. Just be strong. You are a young man. And I know that leading these people is difficult, but there is a spirit in you. You will lead them in a way that will make you a wonder. Leadership is by the spirit of wisdom. Let me tell you this. Listen. Any man on earth. Listen to me carefully. Any man on earth. And in the kingdom. That multitudes are listening to him. Respect him. Human beings are not stupid. Are you hearing what I'm saying? You can have a crowd of foolish people. But there is a level. To which there is there is a level to which human beings will not be more foolish than that jesus went up the mountain and a crowd followed him there was something he was telling them there was something contained in his teachings i commend you to the word of his grace that is able to make you wise not knowledgeable hidden is a principle that can bring solutions to your pain ah. there are families that if they knew this weeping will stop it's true there are individuals that if they know this weeping will stop he said i wept for no man was worthy to open the book and unlock the scroll and the elder tapped me and said weep not the book can be opened when the book is open then tears i look at times in my life when i was so bankrupt of certain dimensions of wisdom and i looked at the tears that came from my eyes but no more his wisdom has come 
I will sing of the wonders of your work. I will sing out for joy. I will sing of the wonders of your work. And I will forever sing your and for preachers we need this so much you know most times we don't start ministry with wisdom we start ministry with passion passion and then your passion leads you to spiritual activities that bring certain dimensions of the anointing and then while the ministry starts going at a point you hook in one place still anointed but wisdom you can't move further because the promoter is wisdom the exalter is wisdom the one who brings you to the realm of honor is wisdom. Herein lies the answer to the dilemma we see that gifted people still don't rise. Because to be gifted and to be wise are two different things. You can be full of so much anointing and yet live an unrewarded life and yet not be able to rise in the spirit. But God is changing someone's story in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the Living God. I have watched people. Do you know? Um, sometimes I sit down and I look at people, truly speaking. When I look at people, I fight tears because I know what they are doing wrong. I don't fight tears because of their situation. I know. I fight tears because I can explain why their lives are that way. I have seen well-meaning, lovely men and women of God that I love and honor with all my heart. But I look at their lives the same way my life was and I know where they are missing it. Please, no result is a mistake. Please learn this. You may not understand what is being engaged, but there is something being engaged to produce that outcome. You may not understand what is being engaged, but there is something being engaged. A man does not just become powerful. No, no. A man does not just last in ministry. A man does not just become anointed. Brothers and sisters, please listen to me. The fact that you don't know what is being done does not mean something is not being done. Your miracle is when the solution comes and when the grace to apply it is released then you know that challenge has come to an end. Isaiah 11 tells us there is a real spirit of wisdom, verse 2. That the Holy Spirit can manifest in a man as wisdom. Notice that even for the building of the tabernacle and in the Lord's house, God did not allow people to be involved carelessly. The spirit of wisdom had to come upon them to produce God's desired results. If the spirit of wisdom comes upon your ministry, your ministry will change in a way. Not just from human terms. You will find out that the possibilities that only God can produce is what happens in your life. Years ago, I'm not a social media person, but the Lord spoke to me, revealing the strategy for the next level of ministry. And this is what the Lord told me. I said, Lord, how will your word get to people and all of that? Yes, we're going to have a TV ministry, but that's for another time. But how is it going to happen? And this is what the Lord told me. At that time, they sell messages. You don't upload messages online. And the Lord said, this is the strategy. Don't sell any message. Let the messages be packaged and put it online. I will give it wings to the ends of the earth. The wisdom of God. It never made sense then. What is this? Who has the time to download heavy MBs of an audio, not video? People are, I mean, when somebody can buy a CD and slot it. Who do you think you are? But when his wisdom comes in, something that looks so foolish, go around Jericho seven times. Just go around. It has never been done. Oh God, just go around. And at the seventh time, 
that act of wisdom crashes down Jericho. Brothers and sisters, that one act till today, this ministry will never recover from it. That one act in obedience to the spirit of wisdom. That's it. Mm. I live to praise your name. I have no fear of what tomorrow brings. The spirit of wisdom is what is responsible for being able to afford the bills of ministry. Please hear me. There is no ministry except you want to manipulate people. Don't be angry at men of God that you see manipulating people for. Let me tell you, you are doing ministry and you want to work in financial integrity and still work in financial abundance. You've got to receive an impartation of the spirit of wisdom. Otherwise, it will wear your grace out. You will cry one day to death. You need it in your life. There are many Christian homes that is very clear the spirit of wisdom is not there. The decisions are always leading to pain. The decisions are always leading to retrogression. Remember I told you that wisdom is justified by her children. So if I claim the spirit of wisdom is in my life and everything I do is moving me back, I should check something is wrong. Something is wrong. There are men of God who are going back and back and back. There are individuals going back. They are better yesterday than they are today. No matter what kind of prayer you pray for them. I've seen individuals that I didn't see for a long time. And you look at them and their lives are a tragedy. They are still serving the Lord. That's the painful part. They never, they, they didn't backslide. Still passionate. And you say, why is your life like this? Are these your children? Yes, sir. Why are they like this? Man of God, God is faithful. No, sir. Don't, don't, don't. That does not look like faithfulness. Is God challenging us? Some of our parents are pastors. They've been pastors for many years. I'm not talking about finances. No growth. There is no day that the ministry breaks through that you can say sinners have been saved. Lives have been transformed. Pain after pain. Let me tell you, repetition of pain is a sign that you need the spirit of wisdom. It is the principal thing the Bible says. It is the principal thing. There are ministries that rise and fall. They rise to a level they are doing so well. And then at a point you find out that things start to nose dive. No scandal, no nothing. Just they have exhausted the level of wisdom that can take them beyond that level. And they come down the scriptural solution to life's problem and the fortitude to engage it appropriately is called wisdom standing let me use someone come come show standing between this gentleman and his destiny whether it is spiritually speaking whether it is financially speaking the obstacle other forces are there like favor and the rest. But it is wisdom that tells you what to do for other forces. You know why the Bible says it is the principal thing? Because all other forces depend on it. It is when you engage the truths that are received from heaven that other forces now start coming into play. The anointing, this and that. It is wisdom that shows you what to do for the anointing to be multiplied in your life. It is wisdom that tells you what to do for favor to be activated. It is wisdom that tells you what to do for restoration to come. All other manifestations are dependent on wisdom. So in the interim, there are many other forces. But the principal force, wisdom. Are we together? So I do not, I know that I should get there. I know that if favor comes, I will arrive there. I know that there is a way I can be healed. I know that there is a way the prophetic gift can be multiplied. But what is that way? What is that way? And how do I engage it? It is the spirit of wisdom that has brought forth these seven days of divine visitation. Because there is something that you can engage that will bring other things and then the spirit of wisdom comes 
I can show you a man that is carrying the spirit of wisdom. His results, her results. It is true. Wisdom is justified by her children. If you accept this thing tonight, then we can finish up that verse. If any of you lack results, if any of you lack results, if you lack results, you lack wisdom. If any of you lack results, if your spiritual life lacks potency, if your finances lack potency, if your influence and your leadership and whatever it is that you're involved in lacks potency, no promotion, no growth, nobody desires your grace. You are living an unrewarded life, spiritually and otherwise. It says that if you lack this, it's a sign that the wisdom of God is not at work in you. Hallelujah. Let me share with you very briefly how the spirit of wisdom works. This is the core of what I'm teaching tonight. Most people are aware. We've taught several teachings on the Holy Spirit and we've taught on wisdom. You can make reference to my teaching what wisdom is this. But the operation, how it works, is where I think that most people have not been able to access it. Mm. How is the spirit of wisdom? How does it operate? How do I activate the spirit of wisdom so that it produces for me? Ready? Let's finish up the scripture. James chapter 1 and verse 5. James chapter 1 verse 5. There is wisdom in the name of Jesus. There is wisdom in the name of Jesus. If, if any one of you lack results, which is a product of lack of wisdom, What's the first thing? Let him ask. You have not because you ask not. Not because God is unable to give it. Let him ask. Let him ask. Let him pray. Let him raise up a petition from a desperate heart that when I begin to pray, my prayer not only brings the manifestation of the spirit of wisdom but also activates its operation if prayer can bring wisdom then prayer can make it work too are we together now yes let him pray i can know a man functioning under the influence of the spirit of god by the results that come from his prayer not just his prayer I need to see the results that come from your prayer. The reason why many ministries have poor prayer meetings is because over time, people have concluded that prayer does not work. They cannot see the results from it. Do you know that praying in the spirit captures something the Bible calls the hidden wisdom of God that the princes of this world did not know? It says, for if they had known this, they would not crucify the Lord of glory there was something paul was doing while he was praying and praying in the spirit that began to grant him access prayer activates the operation of the spirit of wisdom not just bringing the anointing in your life the functionality the operation of the spirit of wisdom is released as you pray while they prayed they didn't know what to do. How do we advance the gospel across this territory? They prayed and they fasted and the spirit of wisdom came. Separate me, Paul and Barnabas. This is a strategy. They stood before Jericho. Listen, when you know that the spirit of wisdom is with you, you will never fear. When you see challenges, all you need to know is to wait till the answer comes. Many of us never wait. We go ahead and say, let the answer follow me. And we call it faith and it damages us into pieces. May never live to have a second chance. 
when Joshua got before Jericho the Bible says the fence of Jericho could host five chariots fortified tooth and nail to a point that a prostitute could comfortably live in the fence the fence of Jericho was like CGC how do you penetrate the place do you shoot is it an arrow is it a gun do you jump the spirit of wisdom he said don't worry they circumcised themselves and set their heart apart and an angel just came and revealed a strategy do this do that and the Lord spoke the spirit of wisdom go around the city seven times and on the seventh day go around seven times the spirit of wisdom many of the things that we call prophecy is prophecy yes but what was uttered is the wisdom of God go and bath seven times go and bath seven times it is the solution not to all problems to your problem meaning someone else will do it not directed by God and not get any solution you see that the spirit of wisdom is God's customized solution for your challenges it's not generic is personal that's why i said it is not it is not the wisdom of the world the wisdom of the world is is universal in application like you say if someone is hungry eat god can tell you if you are hungry dance now that does not make sense but that is his solution for you go and bath seven times and the guy felt insulted Abba. I'm a captain of the Syrian army and he went to bath the seventh time the Bible says his skin became fresh you see let me tell you this is the mystery behind people doing what does not make sense and still getting results they are not making sense is that they are doing it as directed the spirit of wisdom came whatever he tells you to do do it this is the fountain of wisdom Mary knew she did they would have said ah Jesus look 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 the the person who sells this wine is here he can tell you Jews were not foolish people they knew how to crush wine for kings whatever he tells you do notice that no single miracle of Jesus was repeated twice the results were repeated many times but the manifestation of wisdom brought a unique solution for every issue at a certain time he spat on the ground and put in someone's eyes at a certain time he did something else look at him but we keep repeating the same thing and we just faith comes by hearing hearing what the wisdom of God when his wisdom comes to you then you get up and do what he told you to do then your life becomes a wonder Lord, where are we going to get the venue for this meeting? I saw in my visions overflow. Lord, I can't active your venue. I can use my brain to look at several venues. Which venue in Zaria will contain the crowds you are showing me? Just keep praying. Shagabakatakatabata. CGC, the spirit of wisdom. See that? As at the time the Lord spoke, the building had not even been expanded. This, when the spirit of wisdom speaks, don't doubt. You can walk on water and every other person who is walking sings except you because the spirit of wisdom is the dimension of the Holy Spirit that will ensure that what you see this is what makes the life of certain people look miraculous you are doing the same thing but they come and do it and get strange results because they don't do it as desired they wait faith waits until wisdom speaks you don't just act carelessly just because you know. No. Wisdom is manifested in prayer. When we pray, the spirit of wisdom begins to speak. Learn this. Most of us, we are so distracted in our prayer that we do not hear the communications of the spirit of wisdom. Lord, what is the way out to this predicament and challenge in my life? And the Lord says, pray. And we pray after five minutes. Say, God, you are not speaking. Please, good night. And we just, we cheat ourselves there. You don't pray as long as you want. You pray till the answer comes. It's not the issue of 10 minutes or one hour. It is when it comes. There is an object to your prayer. And you begin to pray. 
when 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 cgc became full and the overflows became full it was obvious that when there was a program here there was no other venue that could take us lord what is going to be the way out of this when you know this you know that there's nothing called impossible impossible is the name given to the state before the arrival of the wisdom of god when the wisdom of god comes it will turn a mountain i tell you into a level plain ground is god speaking to you hmm. And all of a sudden, I was praying one time. And the Lord said, because of this, every time Friday night is not available, Sunday night will be available. As simple as it is, that ended the issue of trying to look for all of these things. Lord, the overflows are full now to the roadside. What do we do next? By his wisdom, God was able to profess solution. And we're able to host people. Overflow three is bigger than overflow one, two, and three and i mean overflow one and two together the wisdom of god you see you never see how it would have happened until wisdom creates the way then you look and say ah, why didn't i think about it because your small brain cannot think about it my brother you need the wisdom of god joseph after he finished interpreting the dream then the spirit of wisdom came hear the spirit of wisdom speaking let pharaoh find a man who is discreet and wise and appoint him over this and that when there was problem and the people were arguing and it was almost killing moses moses could not do his work because there were so many people and god told him mr man you are going to kill yourself let the spirit of wisdom guide you set men thousands and hundreds and fifties and then appoint elders to take care of them then you just play supervisory roles ah, and Moses found rest he would have died and said it's the will of God how many pastors die because they love God but there is no manifestation of the spirit of wisdom to guide the affairs by the grace of God one of the principles that help in my being efficient in ministry is the fact that by his wisdom we have created a robust leadership structure that allows me to focus on the ministry of word and prayer I don't have to come here in the afternoon to check to say ah I hope these people did their duty through wisdom a house is built is God speaking to us everybody say prayer, prayer. shout it prayer that means if the devil attacks your prayer life, what is he attacking? He's attacking the arrival of a scriptural solution that brings testimonies for you. When you set yourself apart to pray and the devil said it does not matter, among other things, he's robbing you of access to the wisdom of God. Say, I will pray. Shout it. Say, I will pray. Men who pray access the wisdom of God they come up from their prayer life with very strange solutions very very strange solutions sometimes solutions that don't make sense do not do not downplay on a leader that knows how to get wisdom through prayer when you say we have come to our wit's end then you see another dimension of grace and wisdom number two how is wisdom activated wisdom is activated through meditation meditation noisy people sorry for you this is where the devil cheats us we live in a noisy society if you are not making noise your phone is making noise if your phone is not making noise the television is making noise if the television is not making noise the well wishers around your house are making noise our lives are full of noise that cheats us there is a dimension of wisdom that only silence can bring meditation great leaders meditate you sit down thank you there's got to be a way out thank you holy spirit and you sit quietly do you know sometimes i do this from morning till night meditating like a fool sometimes i just kneel down in front of my chair and put my head down i'm waiting waiting and the answer will never come till sometimes late in the night the spirit of wisdom comes majestically doesn't come in a rush and foolishly and carelessly if you don't have patience forget about it 
because he will not come sometimes you finish all of those things you are praying in the night you just wake up to stretch a little and fire falls from heaven and you sit down this is it this is it <laughs> it will break every chain break every chain break every chain it will break every chain break every chain break every chain is the wisdom of god working in your life oh i fell down the other day when you said receive wisdom do you meditate no sir then the spirit of wisdom may be there but you're not aligning sufficiently that's why many men of god don't have messages to preach because they write a list of messages and preach one by one and they finish the 35th one and the year is not even up to half the year is not halfway gone and you wonder what do i do inspiration comes in the place of meditation never forget what does it mean to meditate to ponder ponder not just on anything to ponder on truth ponder on the word of god not just to mutter but to ponder to think it's called imagination it's not like imagination it is called imagination the creation of images by the spirit ah. genesis 11 before nimrod began to build he called the people and they began to meditate meditation is not just sitting down under a tree that's a wonderful um, um what they call it a wonderful way of stimulating meditation but meditation is where your mind is called to a point where it is stimulated to begin to create creativity is a product of meditation let me tell you how the spirit of wisdom works the spirit of wisdom is a creative spirit is the first dimension of the holy spirit we see in genesis chapter 1 creation the spirit of wisdom creates it creates solutions see what i'm teaching you is 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 a jackpot to your success in life if you understand it creation the solution to every problem you seek already exists in christ but there is a system of transporting it from the realm of the spirit it is called creation it is called the power of imagination where you give the holy spirit your mind like a woman's womb and you allow him to brood upon it that's what happens in meditation you offer like a wife gives her womb over to her husband to be implanted with a seed that's what happens many of us are not creators creation is not just by speaking it is out of the abundance of the heart when that incubation has happened then your speaking is among the process that makes it manifest not many people will teach you this thing i'm teaching you the spirit of wisdom will make your life a wonder if you know how it works watch jesus this woman was caught in adultery the very act of it this is a kind of question where both yes and no would chain you. And Jesus kept quiet and was writing the spirit of wisdom. Immediately the spirit of wisdom landed. Then he spoke. He who does not have sin should cast the first stone. And then the Bible says his speech affected the oldest first. You see, you see how powerful wisdom is? Because the youngest can drop it and the oldest will say, are you, are you stupid? Pick that stone. Then he started with the oldest if the oldest has dropped the stone what do you do as the youngest the miracle is not in dropping the stone is who dropped it first the oldest dropped it down to the last person woman where are your accusers go neither do i condemn you this is the spirit of wisdom it is the spirit of wisdom that suggested the strategy for the salvation of men mm that instead of everybody dying let's make a caricature out of satan it's called the hidden wisdom let one man come and let the whole world enter in him then let him die so that one man came and satan kept looking for him at a point the holy ghost restrained his hand 
and satan began to prevail and satan manipulated men to kill jesus and he ran to hell he said demons did you watch what happened i can't believe it i killed jesus and to his shock he saw jesus in hell and he said no this is a joke you can't be in hell he say yes i'm here because when you kill sinners they go to hell and so i died sin and here i am in hell give me the keys <sighs> give me the keys give me the keys give me the keys and when the keys were given to him he dislodged principalities and powers made a public show of them and then he not only resurrected he resurrected with many who had died they were in the streets of jerusalem everybody saw him and he said guys this is it you will um you will go to heaven but i have to be the firstborn among the resurrected so let me go to heaven quickly i'll come back and then you guys will go and he went to heaven poured his blood according to hebrews in the tabernacle became the high priest and then he returned the guys went and he went to the disciples all hail i'm back all power in heaven he disarmed satan not through power through wisdom are we together listen let me teach you something i walk in the anointing many results are not dependent on power force wisdom is really what brings dominion because the realm of the spirit is a legal realm you engage through knowledge not just by trying to force things it's the ministry of the angels to do that they are the enforcers of the word of god they confirm the word of the servant but wisdom is solution. That's why sometimes you see me ministering to people and you see me doing stupid things. I can hold somebody's hand and the Holy Spirit can say, let that person shout Jesus. And the person just shout Jesus and then the person is falling. And you are watching, me too, I'm watching. I'm as shocked as you. We are all watching the wisdom of the Spirit. You will now get the formula and run to one small meeting and hold somebody's hand and tell the person to shout jesus and person shouts and looks at you say i've done it say do it again because it was just copying this is one of the big mistake of we young ministers we copy acts without the spirit that brought them are we together yes meditation this is where many of us have missed it that you sit before the Lord. What's that song? Brooding over every darkness. You are called. Listen. Light to shine from dark. How can light come out of darkness? That's what the Bible said. It said God who has commanded light to come out of darkness. That means the answer is right there with you. In your chaos, the light the raw material sit down in that situation and meditate and let creation begin to happen when you plant corn the ugliness of the soil and it is still where the new shoot comes out of it's a principle he's brooding over every darkness you are causing light to shine in darkness you are brooding, brooding over all my darkness. You are causing light to shine from dark. So in the midst of that financial hardship, sit down there. That's when creation happens. You're not going to run away from the challenge and get a solution somewhere. Sit in it. By the rivers of Babylon, in the midst of the captivity, I sat down there and a vision was opened to me. We run away from challenges. The miracle is right there. Sit down. There's got to be a way. Lord, my wife, no, I prayed on, there's got to be a way. And all of a sudden, you allow him to impregnate your mind. Ha! brothers and sisters i can tell you this your life will be a wonder first to you if you practice this it will be as if you are holding a charm or a genie somewhere that you are winding many of us don't sit down 
jobless people don't sit down to allow creation happen they just loiter around sir can you give me a job and god is saying i want to speak to you no god i'm, I'm i mean I'm, I'm i want to marry they said I, I can't marry because i don't have a job me i want to and god says sit down now if we can take half the time we spend loitering around to sit down not worrying just find the back of one tree in the night and sit down when other people are snoring their destinies you sit quietly there's got to be a way to my life lord everything is not working nine prayer requests since last year nine of them not answered you are not a liar jesus speak to me and you are just playing you know i told i get who did i give an assignment was it us or school of ministry students no, sometimes I don't know the difference. But do it. Still do it. Go and play worship. You don't just sit down and beds are just making noise. Worship doesn't distract you. It steals your spirit. And then you sit down. Sometimes for hours, the flesh will never allow you sit down. This flesh you see. Once you sit down, you just start thinking, Ah, oh, but that lady is really beautiful. You see. Don't stop. Still sit down there but my father do you know to be honest do you know that i didn't have a good upbringing don't worry this is the flesh trying to distract something a time will come your flesh will be frustrated it will give up it's one of the benefits of fasting the flesh is empowered by the health of your body it takes advantage of food so when when food is minimal it it alters the interruption of the flesh yes sir it does ultimately leading to boosting your faith but that's how it works and you sit down lord there has to be a way and the lord sits down and says but you know you have hundred thousand and then his scripture just opens up and now this is god the spirit of wisdom coming to you now and looks at it and says except a corn falls in the ground and the lord can speak to you and say that hundred thousand that is your last money i'm not saying do it go and sow it you are not doing donation just thinking about it and you carry yourself as if you are going to go and die and sow it somewhere the moment you do that the same spirit that spoke to you now goes to your uncle who doesn't like you and say remember i've been telling you you will bless somebody it's time now it's janet it's this person and then your uncle calls you wisdom justified by her children and you are surprised and god says keep trusting me like this for your life and then you sit down and you find out let me tell you how god forces the spirit of wisdom to work in you sometimes he will close the door of any physical helper in your life pain is a very good way of activating wisdom some of us until you go through certain levels of pain wisdom will never work in your life it's not all pain that is demonic hear what i'm telling you you always receive hundred hundred thousand from your father so every time you are saying the wisdom of god you say yes but what you are mean is the money is coming and then your father says well um i had a dream and i didn't see myself giving you money for five months so what are you saying say exactly that um a voice spoke to me and that's the voice that has been speaking to me that i got rich that you are benefiting from the same voice said i should leave you alone you may insult and get angry but after two weeks you sit down and in your anger you frown you frown you frown and then you just open a scripture anyhow lord help me and then you just see takes you to the story of the widow in zarafat what did she do you have been reading it because your stomach is full now you read it with your stomach empty then shall thy light break forth and you see something you never saw ah god commanded a woman but she was not aware she was commanded but the bible says god already commanded her could it, could it be that there was something she was not receiving? Because God told Elijah, I've commanded her. Whether she, the, the message arrived to her or not, is another thing. But me, I've commanded her. But when Elijah arrived, it didn't look like she was aware. I expect her to say, oh, you are the one. You're welcome. Come in. I mean, the loaf is there. The man said, I'm about to die. She would have died not hearing the command or seeing the prophet. The same way God would say, I've answered this person. 
and you look at the person's life and the answer is not yet there I meditate a lot creation happens in my life through meditation I have explored the power of imagination this is not some zodiac Scientology metaphysical thing this is a principle listen to the advice that God gave Joshua chapter 1 and verse 8 let's attempt to round up he said this book of the law please give it to us shall not depart from out of your mouth but thou shall meditate I thought I was do you know I literally was seeing it <laughs> truly speaking <laughs> you guys are delaying okay this book of the law shall not depart from out of thy mouth listen but thou shall meditate therein meditate therein not meditate any other place you don't meditate on what you want you meditate on the word of God not just look at a newspaper and say hi hey, again Boko Haram and you are looking and you are thinking about a solution for your church it won't come that way are we together thou shalt meditate there in day and night when you meditate and information will come from it then you observe to do and then your way becomes prosperous you don't act first you sit down and allow the creative force of God's wisdom come to your life Lord my wedding is five months all we have is hundred thousand the budget is 2.5 there's got to be a way out not hi God you sent me mm, Jesus talk to me my spirit is open I silence every voice of fear silence them first I silence every wicked voice that wants to make God look unfaithful in my life Lord you are faithful and you are sitting down and the spirit of wisdom begins to move the spirit of wisdom can tell you to do anything it can just say call one person and you call the person and he says, I'm going to do a transfer. You will think it's 100,000. You will see 3 million. And God says, now it has come. Go and marry your wife. And other people will see you and say, you that I know. Abba, my brother. And you, you will quietly go back and give God glory. Ah, God, wisdom has covered for me. That's why you see some people whose testimony should be like your own. Based on the physical parameters you see, but their testimonies are a thousand times greater than yours. Wisdom bail them out. Someone needs to receive this wisdom tonight. Because the depending on men forever, let God send them. Remember I told you all blessings come from God through men to you. But when you begin to depend on men, depending on men is addictive is addictive those men can even be your father and your mother many of us who have all this right conscious mentality my father you are the one that gave birth to me you are 40 years you are still saying it and god may not cause what is happening in your family but you will see it as a ready tool and push you out and then you sit down and then you worry and call it meditation and god says no worrying i've stopped you from doing that but you sit down and you meditate let me admit to you that you will not meditate one night and get the solution no i wish it were so sometimes it can happen but that's just god's mercy helping you to encourage you so that the day that it doesn't come with the speed you want you will know god has been faithful and you will stay there are people who stay for weeks weeks turn to months every multi-millionaire knows this thing i'm telling you that their result is not just based on what they do but based on the reality that has been altered in their minds and their perceptions it is true way before god blessed this ministry with these crowds i had captured it it's there do you believe what i've taught you tonight my my prayer for you is not just that you finish a service today and say wow nice <clears throat> but that you go and sit down and say lord I know I'm a prayer warrior, but there is no time in silence to sit quietly, wake up in the night and think, Lord, what is the next key? What is the next step? There are bills before me. What is the next step? 
this is the dimension we must step into as a ministry there has to be a way out don't say there is no way don't join satan saying there is no way is calling god a liar you open scripture no there is a way ah. light me lord light me lord light me lord like a candle light me lord light me lord light me lord like a candle light me lord light me lord light me lord like a candle light me lord light me lord light me lord like a candle light me lord light me lord light my light have taught you is the secret for the hand of God upon your life financially you will sit down and do business after business and business after business and be shocked that the result will be the same because out of the abundance of the heart what have you incubated in your spirit and your mind it's not about doing things you tell people these things they never listen because most people think men of god know nothing about finances and people run around looking for all kinds of give me money let me do this and god says one thing is needful settle down first apostle what do you think i can do to prosper sit down no i my blood my blood is hot calm down and one the breath of the spirit will just light that bulb and you stand up circumspectly and with little effort the lord will create a wonder out of your life hear what i'm saying write the challenges let me give you an assignment go and write out all the challenges that you are trusting god for and sit with a clean sheet of paper and your bible and worship and just keep looking at them let me teach you this in conclusion can i can i am i free to teach you look at me <laughs> Pray in tongues for one minute. Pray in tongues for one minute. Labaka sude bila hasiya na kataboshi. Light me, Lord. Light me, Lord. Light me, Lord. Like a candle. Light me, Lord. Light me, Lord. Light me, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let me teach you something. Jesus was teaching and he said the eye is the light of the body listen carefully please please listen the eye is the light of the body do you know what Jesus was saying I hope you know Jesus was not teaching a parable go and google the parables of Jesus you don't see that story as a parable he was giving something he was teaching a powerful principle that the eye these two objects you see in front of your face that there is a mystery seeing is only one of the functions and it's simply because that's all science told you there is a system of transporting realities to and from the realm of the spirit that only your eyes that's why god healed every blind person he saw there was no blind person that passed jesus that was not healed there were other cripples that he left them but he was violent on blindness there is a relationship between your eyes and your destiny listen paul became blinded by the glory of god but god had to open his spiritual eyes to be seen first before the physical one opened do you know why your eye closes in the night when you sleep light me lord light my life light my destiny brothers and sisters there are secrets in this book when you find it your results are not just an issue of wish these eyes you see let me tell you what happens anything the eye makes contact with consistently the mind 
the mind listen to me carefully what your eyes makes contact with it forces your mind to begin to think on that reality now watch this it is not the thinking about it it is an incubation that starts happening in the realm of the spirit now the holy ghost knows the solution are we together now you meditate not just by closing your eyes alone because sometimes you close the physical eyes but you are still seeing are we together now and so that's the reason why you pray well in the night because there are few distractions your eye is seeing but you just see black and white this color sometimes can create noise it is an enemy to meditation are we together go and close a room and sit quietly and play worship and see what happens to you where you are not seeing the speaker nepa took light and you are using your phone to worship and you pray they don't bring light because it's doing something to you this eye is a transmitter the same way you have a radio wave watch this not just your ears this eye the creation of a radio wave is in the similitude of the way God designed men to walk. That you lift an antenna and it starts receiving the before you. The goal is to get that sound to your radio. Is that true? But you lift up something. That something is your eyes. That when you begin to make contact with the word of God. I don't mean reading it. Just looking open down my eyes that I may behold wondrous things what did David know so you are making contact and all of a sudden let me tell you what will happen very soon your eyes will stop seeing you are looking but you are no longer seeing your mind is what takes over have you seen that happen that you are reading something and for hours you keep reading the same line you can't move forward that's because something more superior than your reading is distracting you in that case worrying the eyes then your ears these things are gates I'm showing you notice that you have a selection of songs in your phone or whatever you never sit down particularly to hear them but after hearing them five or six times you know the next song and you can sing along if they ask you to sing it on your own now you can't sing but once they play it you can follow it and sing these are systems the eyes is a very deep and dangerous mystery yes he told the man at Gate Beautiful, look at us. Use your eyes. I'm about to talk to you. I thought you said, give me your ears. He said, look at us steadfastly. And he looked at them. And he said, now you are seeing. What was the requirement of Elijah receiving from Elijah? Not if you can hear me. If you can. Was he not looking at him? This is your Bible. I'm not reading an occult book. This is your Bible when jesus was le was levitating to heaven the bible says they kept looking at him their eyes stayed on him until the clouds received him and something happened to them could it be that the only thing you have been doing with your eyes is to just look around no that's why you don't remember the faces of blind people because you cannot see their eyes the 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 part that makes your face recognizable is your eyes Let's pray. Light me, Lord. Light me, Lord. Light me, Lord. Like a candle. Light me, Lord. Light me, Lord. Light me, Lord. Like a candle. Light me, Lord. Light me, Lord. Light my life. Wisdom is the principal thing.
16. It says, therefore, get wisdom. The Bible says, doth not wisdom cry. It personifies wisdom. That wisdom is calling on people and say, please, don't attempt to live without me. When the Lord was creating the heavens and the earth, the spirit of wisdom was there. Your life cannot be created without it. The manifestation of the spirit of wisdom is what is responsible for delivering the secrets of the kingdom. Without wisdom, revelation is not even possible. The spirit of wisdom will grant you access to scriptural solutions. Brothers and sisters, you will watch mountains before you crash. And people look at you and say, what wisdom is this? There is a relationship between mighty works and wisdom. Every time you see mighty works, strange results, at the back of it is a scriptural solution. It's a mystery that was unveiled. When the spirit of wisdom comes upon you, then all other manifestations of the spirit can be made possible. Without it, you are just joking around. I saw this in my life. I craved for the spirit of wisdom. I pursued it with my life and my all. The day the spirit of wisdom came upon me, I knew. I have been studying the Bible. But brothers and sisters, when the spirit of wisdom comes, your results change immediately in a strange way. The speakings of the spirit. We need this for our families. Could this be why your ministry has been grounded? Could this be why our families never rise to certain extent? We think the thing is just about more money or more this or more that. No, please help them. We are going to spend two or three minutes crying out in the spirit and say, Lord, a baptism. I'm tired of no results in my life. I'm tired of foolish decisions in my life. Pray. Pray and let the spirit of wisdom come upon you. Never stranded of solutions. Never stranded of solutions. There is always something to do. There is some, always a way of moving forward. Pray. Shake it, take it, take it, take it, take it. Everything that has bread. Everything that has bread. Everything that has bread. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Say after me in the name of Jesus. Say it again in the name of Jesus. I receive a baptism of the spirit of wisdom. I receive the grace to manifest supernatural solutions over every challenge of my life. Lift your voice and pray. There is an answer. There has to be an answer. There is an answer. There is an answer. Hey, bakata, kata, balakata. I can't be stranded forever. There is an answer. Seke toko shoto barakata. Hidden in the spirit of wisdom is an answer. A strange answer. Lord, there is an answer to my financial predicament. There is an answer to the challenge in my life. That you have not seen it and you have not received it does not mean it is not there. There has to be an answer to the challenges in my family. Hallelujah. 
Say in the name of Jesus. I receive a strategy. Say it in the name of Jesus. I receive the strategy out of confusion, out of pain, out of tragedy. Lift your voice and begin to pray. There has to be a strategy. He made his ways known to Moses by the spirit of wisdom. There has to be a way. Shake it, toka sakata balakata. I cannot beg forever. There is a way to the anointing. There is a way to my ministry rising. There is a way. There is a way. There has to be a way. I receive. I receive divine strategies, illumination. You move mountains, you cause walls to fall with your power. You perform miracles, there is nothing that's impossible. And I'm standing here only because you move mountains. Let me give us one more prayer. By the grace of God, we are a people of prayer. Most of the churches and the body of believers within this region are a people who have received the spirit of prayer and supplication. But we lack the grace for creativity. We lack the grace for imagination. The breath of the spirit upon your mind I like you to pray and say, Lord, grant me the grace to meditate. The grace to bet solutions from the realm of the spirit. The grace to use my mind to allow the Holy Ghost spirit upon my mind. Are you praying? God gave you a mind to bring victory to your life. He gave you a mind not just to watch things happen. Believe me, the solution is locked up within you. Allow the Holy Spirit to begin his work of creation. The answer will come. Pray. Baptize my mind. Baptize my mind. There is an answer locked up by the Holy Ghost. My mind can produce supernatural solutions. Hallelujah. Listen. The worst, the worst condition of a man is madness. In my opinion, the worst condition of a man is madness. Where the devil has hijacked your capacity to create. This is how companies come into being. This is how churches increase and expand. This is how business corporations rise. This is how individuals rise. They can stay with the Holy Ghost and say there's got to be a way. And they stay there and stay there until something comes from heaven. And they run with it and the vision speaks in the end. And their lives look miraculous. There is no mystery behind it. It's the sacrifice of meditation. Every religion, every sect, agrees on this one thing that meditation brings creation hallelujah 
Lord, may my mind be a channel for strategies to come from heaven. Lift your voice and pray. May my mind be a channel. You didn't give me a mind just to gossip and loiter around. Stop all this moving up and down and sit down. Sit down with the Holy Ghost. Sit down. Let him breathe upon your eyes. Let him breathe upon your ears. Let him breathe upon your mind. And my brother, my sister, your life will change in a way that will surprise you. It's a guarantee that I give you. The hidden wisdom that the princes did not know. Hallelujah. The Bible says, for as he thinketh in his heart, so is he. So God used that strategy and slew the lamb from the foundations of the earth. So there was no problem to it manifesting because it had been a reality. The plan of salvation. Go to come, let us build a city. It is a carry blocks. He said, sit down, let's build a city. And they gave access to demon spirits to begin to brood on their creativity. They saw it happening. And the Bible says in chapter 11 from verse 5 that God came down. They had not started building. But the Bible says God came down to see the city which the Son of Man had built it. They had finished it. If you don't believe what I'm saying, you will never do anything great. This is it. The Spirit of God with the raw material of your mind not business not job stay with him finish that work with him that's why there is nobody who cannot rise your little one room with roaches around no problem use it as the place like the cave of Adullam start from there you are my last hope Sam if you don't pick my call I'm dead that's a man who does not know God because he said if you will not praise me it is still within my power to raise up things that should not do that God is only limited by how much we trust him his wisdom is multifaceted has the capacity to invent new formulas of communicating your breakthrough to you your assignment is to trust him enough who is like him Lion and the Lamb Seated on the throne Mountains bow down Every ocean rolls To the Lord of Lords Never, never allow your appetite Or your perception of the ability of men and human strategies to help you to outrun and push away the fact that you know God is faithful I know you're a businessman and I've read every business book but by and large is only a channel every good and perfect gift comes from above I know you went to school but let me tell you something if God does not speak a word on your behalf your certificate can be a piece of paper on this earth As sad as the recession is, it has brought so many arrogant people to their knees. Men who think God is limited by their perceptions and whatever it is. No. God is mighty. He's not scratching his head in heaven wondering what to do with believers. His wisdom is so infinite, it reinvents itself to manipulate answers to men regardless of the circumstances. You are God alone From before time began You are on your throne You are God alone And right now Time set back You are on your throne You are God alone Listen The next time A man tells you I will not help you you are in trouble thank him don't cry go back to God and say Lord how many men did you say are on earth six billion let your wisdom your infinite wisdom 
that can raise up stones stones that can raise up stones to praise and glorify him I will never trust the strategy of men above God I love and know and fear him too much to be that foolish that a man comes and says look hey, Jimmy, tomorrow I'm going to change your life just because you have five billion in your account that's a joke is it not until that man wakes up from the bed in the morning listen I'm, I'm not I'm not teaching you dishonor remember I've taught you the gift of men I'm showing you the depravity the falsehood the waste of time that is committed in making men God this God is a mighty God your trust in him puts pressure on his integrity pressure on his integrity that's what brought some of you here from so far you have put pressure on his integrity I assure you he will not disappoint you hallelujah all through scripture the Bible is full of God's promises and then attached to them are conditions that men must satisfy as a proof of their faith in God God cannot assume you trust him so he creates a condition so that you're activating that condition is proof of your partnership that I agree with you it would be costly for me to take this water and then tell Pastor Jimmy, I want to force you to take. No, 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 no. I can't assume he's thirsty. Are we together? So I say, Jimmy, if you are thirsty, I have given you access to this. Your picking the water is proof that one, you are thirsty, but number two, that you believe I'm not a liar. Now, if you want to come and pick this water and the protocol stops you, it, you, have, you have obeyed, you have put pressure on my own integrity. And so I come in. And I tell him no. I instructed him. He's acting based on his trust in me. He's not acting based on rebellion. The problem is never the devil. The problem is our fear. Alienated from the life of God. Through the ignorance that is in them. Number three, quickly. The third reason why people experience failure defeat perpetually is demonic oppressions demonic oppressions first john chapter 5 verse 19 demonic oppressions we live in a world that is full of demonic activities and the bible did not leave us in the dark as to the reality that there are forces of darkness that attempt to contend with the liberty of the saints it says and we know that we are of god read on and how many not Nigeria the whole world does what lieth in wickedness like you say my child is lying on a carpet the whole world lies on a mystery of wickedness the condition to be a potential victim of this is that you are born of a woman the moment you arrive here that's all are we together now you know several people say who did I offend that all this trouble is all those things are they are just cultural ways of trying to manage pain the whole world lieth in wickedness the moment Jesus was born as a baby all of a sudden when a star came at the east Herod the spirit of the Antichrist began to walk in Herod and they wanted to kill Jesus even in heaven there was war he said there was war in heaven a woman i saw a mystery in heaven a woman was about to give birth to a child and a dragon came and stood waiting to eat the child and the bible says the earth fought for the woman and took the woman to a safe place hear me brothers and sisters the bible says forever oh lord thy word is settled it tells you the location in it takes faith and the operation of god's word for it to be settled in your life it is settled in heaven hence the dexterity and the order in heaven but on earth there are still forces contending with the purposes of God and the Bible tells us 
in Ephesians chapter 6 please give it to us verse 12 Ephesians 6 and then verse 12 for we wrestle not against flesh and blood but against principalities listen I want you to listen to my message against spiritual intelligence that message has blessed so many people I was talking with my mother Jimmy today and uh, my mother almost made me cry and she said she was listening to spiritual intelligence so much and making several decisions in her life based on that spiritual intelligence will teach you not to waste your time being angry with men fighting men because every man every man is just is a physical form being manipulated by a reality from the realm of the spirit you have to know this it is never about your in-law it is never about your son it is never about your daughter no no wasting time on men will make you hate people you cannot love there is a revelation that sponsors love so even if people speak against you you know that they are not speaking of their own Peter tried to rebuke Jesus that you will not die on the cross he said Satan get thee behind me and he said Peter Satan desired Peter said which Satan we came here together Satan desired to sift you like wheat but I have prayed for you that your faith fail not and when thou art converted strengthen your brethren because he will look for them too are we together he says but against principalities against powers against the rulers of the darkness of this world against the spiritual wickedness in heavenly places Paul himself was not he did not leave the church in limbo as to the reality that at every point in your life there are forces that will attempt to mock God here's a revelation God gave me recently every sickness every oppression is like a letter Satan is writing to God he uses men like the canvas and says I am making a mockery of men to prove that your word is not true are we together now so when I trust God and I still come and I'm sick and the sickness is eating me it's not about you Satan does not even care he is trying to use men the highest of God's creation to make a statement to the heavens that bowing down you did not do I am now using your image to compel creation to bow down to me and so when God finds a witness men and women who represent the systems of God who represent portals that manifest the multifaceted possibilities of God in the earth they now begin to rewrite in the lives of men watch this so this lady come darling this lady has cancer it's eating her up that's a letter from satan it is never about the cancer satan does not care he is he is contented with the statement and the reaction of creation to him by reason of this are we together so when she comes for a miracle service like this god begins to rejoice not because he just became powerful finally an intercourse between need and supply listen every time hear me every time God heals a man it was not that night he planned to heal the man he had been navigating the need and the faith of that man to the grace the unction level it takes to produce that miracle and when two of them collide there must be a miracle I've taught you something listen oh let me not go ahead of myself I'm enjoying myself here very seriously listen this lady cancer now I've prayed for her and she's not healed that's a double message you see that that message now her faith begins to fail her because she's saying but but I mean does that mean my situation is different and she goes to God Lord I love you I love you but then she begins to think and somebody comes to say look there's one man somewhere oh, I'm advising you all this your Jesus thing me too I'm a Christian I gave my life to Christ before you were born I'm only telling you this what is there to just go carry one goat I can even give you half of the money you see it is a statement Satan uses men their situations is like the pen he writes a letter to heaven watch the ones you claim you died for barren of your faithfulness yet you study from scripture I 
have been young and now I am old. I have never seen the righteous forsaken, not you see it back for bread. Then Satan comes to write a letter. That's why God is searching for men. He's not searching for men to give them titles. He's finding space in the earth through men. So that the multifaceted dimensions of his possibilities can be made manifest. Now, if this lady supernaturally gets healed, like the gentleman, look at the guy that, 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 um, that came back to life. 25 people immediately. 25 people because a dead body came back to life. You can't deny that. Are we together? That's a statement. Brothers and sisters, tonight, my father will write another statement. Yes, he will. Yes, he will. See, God does not just write anyhow. He writes in a way that he must force you to read it. His miracles are notable. Ask Moses. He made the bush to burn in such a way Moses could not ignore it. That's the same way somebody will walk out of this meeting and all of a sudden doors opening, 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 opening. Hallelujah. Opening. That's the God we serve. So when miracles are not just a proof that a man is anointed, that's the last reason for a miracle. Miracles are a message. It's a reply from God back to men and to the gates of hell. I am still faithful. The lion, the lamb, my benevolence is still in force. I am still good. My mercy endures forever. And he uses men. Sometimes, you see, in his wisdom, he just allows the devil to exhaust his knowledge. Then he comes in so cheaply and lifts a man and says, Satan, how about this? When you understand this, hear me, you will passionately pursue the presence and the power of God not for fame you are seeking to give God space there is a statement that God needs to write to principalities and powers they mock God in our lives are we together this is what happens because it's difficult brothers and sisters we are humans when your life has a track record of perpetual failure it will test your faith and that's when satan comes and tries to say where is your god you are 39 years as a lady you have loved god all your life no marriage and i'm here believing my life anyhow i'm still married but another man still wants to add another marriage to me look at two of us brothers and sisters they are not speaking on their own it's a letter So it is good to give God thanks in that situation. But it's best to give God thanks in victory. Are we together? Yeah. Thank you. Demonic forces. They exist. They are real. And they have made nonsense. First Thessalonians 2.18. Please let's hurry up. First Thessalonians 2.18. The apostle was speaking and he opened us up to something very, very profound. I want us to read together. Ready? One to read. Wherefore, we would have come to you, even I, your breakthrough. But what happened? Help me, please. Once and again, your breakthrough would have come to you. Your prayers answered already. But Satan hindered us satan can attempt to hinder men from meeting men satan can attempt to hinder things from meeting men are we together now it's part of the reasons why we pray we pray because in the place of prayer we create our own climate and we command the forces of darkness we enforce the victory of christ and we clear the air for believers to receive the fullness of the blessings of God. The last reason, very quickly, and then we'll pray. Why do people experience limitations in their lives? They trivialize and ignore the place of spiritual empowerment. This is the last reason. 
the last reason i've given you four reasons why people remain in perpetual defeat they trivialize and ignore for many the place of spiritual empowerment ephesians chapter 6 verse 10 we celebrate the anointing of the holy spirit in this place not just the ministry of the spirit as you know we're on a series the holy spirit he said finally my brethren haven't told you all these other things finally my brethren be strong in the lord be strong in the lord and in the power of his the word might there means his resources his resources the power that comes with his resources there are arsenals there are mysteries there are supplies of graces and possibilities that make god god and the bible says we should be strong in that the power our access to those things is what gives us strength in this kingdom are we together now there are powers of darkness that will arise and contend with believers once and again psalm 66 verse 3 psalm 66 verse 3 let's read one to go say unto god how terrible art thou in thy ways help me please through the greatness of thy power shall thy enemies submit themselves brothers and sisters it takes power to reign in this kingdom it takes power to reign in this wicked world it will take power for you to rise and not compromise yet prosper it takes power it's more it takes more than sincerity in a wicked and a depraved world are you going to bribe no i will stand in for truth that means there is no promotion for you and you can remain there for decades are you from so 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 state no i'm not no you are not qualified for this position human sentiments it takes power to defy the wickedness of men it takes power hallelujah it takes power it takes power to build a ministry much more than wisdom it takes the ability of god it says rabbi john 3 verse 1 we know that thou art a man nicodemus seeing the mighty works of jesus christ they criticized him in the day but he smuggled his way to jesus in the night and said rabbi we know that thou art a man sent from god for no man can do these things except god be with him the anointing of the Holy Spirit is God's authorization upon a man to represent him. God's authorization. The anointing of the Holy Spirit is God's ability. Listen, the capacity to produce God's result, God's dimension of result can only be produced by his dimension of power and grace. We trivialize the anointing because we have been taught that the anointing is for men of God and since I'm not being called into the fivefold ministry I do not need the anointing no brothers and sisters hear me the anointing the anointing I've said it again I want it to become a revelation in you that the anointing does not make the difference the anointing is the difference the difference between a man who rises out of death and out of every challenge is the anointing a thriving ministry and a struggling one the anointing a thriving career and a struggling one the anointing the anointing will be the difference between your next level and where you are now don't trivialize it don't say it is unnecessary no the anointing is God's advantage in the life of the believer it truly is an advantage I think it was the last set of school of ministry students I was teaching them when we were doing pneumatology. I was teaching them about the anointing. And I said, this is our wicked world. People ask you, who is your father? He's an iron bender. Who is your mother? She sells a car somewhere in the road. No, you cannot rise. We are victims of the wickedness 
the sentiments the ethno-religious biases of men in a world where people want you to bring something you need the advantage not an advantage brothers and sisters the anointing can take you where anything can take anybody the anointing others may get there because of their connections others may get there because uncle so 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 went and once you are there they ask you how did you come and then you laugh God's ability God's ability is working in me is working in me is God's ability God's ability is working in me is working in me that will be your testimony is God's ability is God's ability working in me the anointing will always produce supernatural results you've heard me say it if it is the Lord's doing then it must be marvelous in our eyes if it is a man's doing it is natural and logical but brothers and sisters when your result defies the natural progression there is another agency other than you when your results in any area of life listen they called Jesus they said he was casting out devils by Beelzebub he said if I use Beelzebub the prince of demons by whom do your fathers their fathers were casting out devils they fraternized with the realm of the spirit access powers higher than a human power and were producing results that statement shows that no man can do supernatural things without the assistance of a dimension higher than that which you know yes yes in this day and age brothers and sisters the world is waiting for supernatural outcomes you don't just tell somebody be healed that's arrogance without the anointing now let me show you something i've taught you this again and again but i feel like doing it let me use a thousand naira if you would permit me please look at this because so many people really do not understand the operation of the anointing i want you to learn this please by the grace of God and by the privilege of his grace, I can tell you I understand the workings of the anointing. I want you to pay attention and listen closely. I may not boast of any other thing, but I can tell you I understand how this thing works. Listen, the anointing works like money. Watch this. If I give you, hey Jimmy, 1,000 Naira, do you know that there are many things this can buy? 1,000 Naira can buy this, but 1,000 Naira cannot buy a car. Are we together now so when if your desire is to buy a car you need multiples of 1,000 it is good that you have 1,000 but it is not sufficient to draw to your life the result this is how the anointing is don't say I'm anointed it must be to the level that is capable I thought this thing is energy physics defines power as work done per unit time that's the definition of the anointing God's ability that is dissipated per unit time to produce supernatural results that's the anointing listen if I try to lift this it doesn't mean I don't have energy it means the energy dissipated per unit time is small so I need another agency to assist me is that true believers this is how it is so it is not that the name of Jesus is there, it's not working. It is not that the anointing is not working. The situation that you are confronted with, this is why grace and peace is multiplied. Because there are situations that defy that current level. So he says, grace and peace be multiplied to you. Why is it multiplied? How God anointed Jesus, Acts 10, 30. Look at the extent to which he anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power let me show you how to be a blessing when you contend with the spirit to carry a dimension of grace and unction sufficient to solve most if not all the problems that you will find this is how you'll be a blessing 
if Dangote comes here now and decides to give everybody one one million how do you, how many of you know that's not a prayer point for him because it is within his capacity are we together if koinonia decides to give everybody here one one million we'll have a problem somewhere correct not because we don't have money it is the limit of our capacity so it's not when when this guy has a problem it's like a shop there is a dimension of anointing required to solve it so when you come to help him it's not just that you laid hands he may even fall down but the money is short what do you need more 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 of the same thing not more of a different thing more of what the same thing so Benihin can climb the stage and he's not even held the mic and 40 people rise out of the wheelchair you see that the anointing upon his life makes him see clearer the might and the possibilities of God when you are not heavily anointed you create a wrong picture of God because you struggle for little results and it looks like that's how much God tried to release that result but watch another man who comes with grace and unction and you watch ease as a testimony it's called capacity the anointing makes God look limitless in the affairs of men this is why regardless of the results here and there that God produces we still remain in the secret place because there is more brothers and sisters there are people scattered here tonight if I ask everybody to come and hold the mic people will not travel from end to end there are people following from over 45 nations of the world they are not sitting down and wasting their time no no people want solutions now a man of God gets up here called Joshua Selman I would be a wicked man if I have not stayed with God sufficient enough at least at the level of the growth to be able to partner with the Holy Spirit that's why we cry for his mercy because there are many situations that we need results beyond our current levels of dealings with God and we need the mercy of God to superimpose the current level of grace that we carry that's why sometimes I tell you that God does not heal people just through a man's faith he switches to the covenant that that man has with him and it becomes a platform upon which he reaches men are we together tonight let me tell you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ that there is grace to cause your mountains to look like valleys yes yes it doesn't take time it only takes time when an insufficient dimension of the anointing presents it learn this about the anointing the anointing can greatly misrepresent God it's like a television that is not well tuned it will make you think the producers were that poor until you take the same video to a clearer HD television and that's when you watch the artistry of those people the anointing can misrepresent the capacity of God hallelujah I take time to teach like this because the miracles and all this will not take time once your heart is aligned to receive then you will receive miracles upon miracles are we together this is how he gets glory when he finds men who are heavily anointed please hear me never be caught up by the results you currently have now no matter how great I tell you you ask the Lord my work with God is as if I don't have an iota of his anointing in my life there is a standard and there is a capacity that I'm working with God and I seek to get I have seen them in dreams and visions and I did not see this current level we are trusting God for levels where before koinonia starts before the first prayer point half of the people who come sick are already healed completely one woman one of our mothers i met a new mother 
new wonderful mother in Portacot. Lovely people, those of you from Portacot, I know they are listening to me now. They are following me. Lovely, lovely woman. I love you with all my heart. And um, the whole family, I mean, they are just into this ministry with their heart. She donated her car and everything for them to use for the program. And she shared a testimony, I think it was yesterday, that touched me. She had been having some kind of respiratory problems. And so when they picked me from the airport, her children insisted that she would sit down at that same place. And that woman said she just sat down and the children drove her home. Brothers and sisters, that was the end of it. Now listen, listen. When you understand the anointing, there is something interesting about it. When you understand the anointing and you are heavily anointed, the more heavy you are anointed, the will, your will, plays really little role in its release. It becomes wherever. Ask the woman with the issue of blood. Jesus did not even listen now. He was not planning. She just touched him and Jesus said, who touched me? The anointing didn't say, Jesus, can I flow? No. So you can be in a restaurant, you are eating, and all of a sudden, now, you will never believe what I'm saying if you are casually anointed. If you truly are anointed, you become a blessing. You greet somebody. Just shake his hand. And that day, he has more customers than he can ever imagine. Now, even you, you do not know till he tells you. An effulgence of spiritual possibilities. You, your life has become a gateway and a portal revealing a dimension of possibility that is not affordable to the natural man. I welcome you tonight to this place where God has chosen by his spirit to reveal the multifaceted dimensions of his grace and glory. Please rise up on your feet. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. oh. I want you to just pray two prayer points from the depth of your heart. Number one, I'd like you to insist and say, Lord, I release my faith. There is no challenge I came here with tonight that will return back. Go ahead and pray. Prophesy, declare it. I wave every captivity goodbye. Jesus is Lord. Now the Lord is that spirit. And where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. Hala prakato sete kata banda shabra gada bala. Shikete para toska prata skala bala. Pray. I believe in the mighty God. Dera na 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 shela na. Shikata bala kata prakato shikete. Shibres kete shala banda kata. I have found David my servant and with my holy oil have I anointed him. It's the realm of your glory. It's the realm of your grace. I can see your mighty power moving in this place. We're in the presence of angels with God's glory on the wings. And like the voice of many waters, I can hear the angels sing 
you are holy. You are holy. You are holy. You are holy. One last prayer point. Father, take me to a new dimension. There is always more. Lift your voice and pray. Take me to a new dimension. Take me to a new dimension. are you praying take me to a new level let me not need to tell people that I came before your presence let there be an evidence let there be a testimony Nina Ka Wiabo Sarki Salama Nina Ka Wiabo be the same I want to pray for you listen I want you to trust God please hear me especially for the visitors here I want you to trust God that the forces and the yokes that stand between you and your destiny you have to believe that they will live now are we together? I want you to believe God. There are people already receiving their deliverances and miracles. I want to pray for you now. My heart is heavy because in this season and in this time, God wants to set people free. Some of you may not know the causes of the situations, the challenges, the things you go through. You have prayed, you have fasted. God has brought you here tonight and he will give you a dramatic miracle. Are we together now? Lift your hands. I want to pray for you. Jesus, the presence of God is Listen, I want to pray for you. I see a writing. I just see a writing in the realm of the spirit. And I see great breakthrough. This is what I see. Great breakthrough. There is a grace that is coming on people now. The Lord is starting off with us tonight. Bringing strange breakthrough to people. I want to pray now. At the count of three. In the name that is above all names. 
I decree and declare in the name of the Lord God whose I am right now at the count of three I release that grace I command every devil standing on the way to anyone's breakthrough I command that you leave right now in the name of Jesus at the count of three I want you to shout the name Jesus one two three go now go now bring them out shake it take a inside and outside that fire of the Holy Ghost shake it take a bring them out right now in the name of Jesus my God I see deliverances happening to people by the spirit of the living God deliverances happening to people right now right now right now bring them out please in the name of Jesus she take it up outside overflow one I see a ministry of angels strong ministry of angels bring them out please I come in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, I establish victory. Victory, I command it. Break through every source of darkness. Defying the word of the Lord. I bless the word of God upon your life. Hallelujah. Lift your hands, my God. I still see these breakthroughs. I'm seeing doors opening in the realm of the spirit. Listen, I'm seeing at least 17 people. 17 people, I'm going to pray. And the power of God will come upon you. Strange doors opening right now in the name of Jesus. I declare by the count of three. One, two, three. Open now. Open now. I command it. I declare it now. Now. Open doors. By the Spirit of God. Open doors. Open doors. Satan Secretary. My God. Doors opening. Over lives. Opening. Over destinies. Opening. By the Spirit of God. By the Spirit of God. and pray the Lord is showing me people here with strange delays you love God but strange delays I'm seeing like arrows in the spirit and this is not from darkness it will come upon you once it comes upon you know that that delay will end right now in the name of Jesus the Lord is asking me to stretch my hands as I stretch my hands right now in the name of Jesus Lord where are they men and women who have been delayed strangely right now right now right now I command that light and power that light and power ending delays now mighty in this place Mighty in this place, you are mighty in this place. Mighty in this place, you are mighty in our lives. Mighty in our lives, mighty in our
I'm seeing something strange in the spirit coming upon sisters. I'm seeing a strange grace for speed. Just sisters, sisters, I'm seeing this. And the Lord is asking me to prophesy it. As soon as I prophesy it, there is a strange unction coming on ladies for strange speed. I see this in the realm of the spirit. Now, Lord, I place the word of God upon this prophecy. And I declare, ladies, step into speed. Now, supernatural speed. Sheplekethata. Run like Elijah. I command it. I decree it. In the name of Jesus. Strength speed. Strength speed. Strength speed. It's coming on you now. Like the dew of heaven. Coming on you now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Lord is opening my eyes to a vision now. And I'm seeing keys being given to people. Keys. Listen. Keys. It will come on you like fire. I see keys. These keys are solutions and strategies. Solutions and strategies solutions and strategies you will help me shout that name jesus again i see keys being handed over to people according to the grace and mercy of god now lord i pray that even as you have shown me whoever should be a recipient of this spiritual blessing i decree and declare that it will come upon their lives now are you ready at the count of three get ready now my god my god my god one two for you but let me just do what the Lord is asking me to do I've told you many of you wonder when you see me do this particular thing where I just mention a state and the Lord begins to touch people from that state it's a sign and wonder you see these things they are operations of the spirit because the Lord is opening my eyes right now I'm seeing a map of Nigeria and I'm seeing the hand of God on south 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 that entire region now now, all those who come from that region, South South, South South, a miracle. Now, Baton Shekete, Lepre Teketo Sumata, Lakata Praskata Bashikete, in the name of the Lord Jesus, South South, the Spirit of the Lord brings breakthrough to men and women. You can't stand the breakthrough, every hand in delay from the South South. I see the hand of God strong upon men and women strong upon men and women ending captivities by the spirit of the living God hallelujah there is somebody in overflow too you are holding a picture you are holding photos please come overflow too by the roadside let the person come let the person come quickly you are holding a picture 
the Lord is showing me someone please let let that person whoever he is or she is please quickly you are holding a picture run come you are wearing like blue uh, is it blue or black now who is that come holy holy don't worry mama I'm going to pray for you where is your daughter ma no mic I'm looking at you hold on is this her I'm looking at you and the Holy Spirit is taking me and I'm in Kano. Where is she? She's at Kano. Where is she? That's what I'm saying. She's at Kano. And the Lord, why, why, why are you holding her picture? She, she have, uh, up to now, she have never got, get married. Uh -uh. And this, this day, is, she's sick. This is what I'm saying. This is what God wants to destroy. Because I'm seeing her in Kano and you are standing in for her. Yes. I'm supposed to pray for those outside. But I saw this and the Lord is saying I should minister to you. Go and tell her that the Lord brings her life. This sickness is over. Hallelujah. Sir, where are you coming from? Mina, Niger State. Niger State. Thank the Lord because your car would have had an accident on the way coming. And the Lord has brought you deliverance. Is this your family? Yes, sir. This is your family. Yes, sir. One, two, three, four. How many children? Four children. Have you stopped giving birth? Do you think this is all? I'm looking in a vision and I'm seeing one more, a baby girl. Yes, After this. Yes, Hold my hand, sir. But the Lord is going to, I'm seeing you have serious problem with finances very serious you are not a lazy man even you you cannot explain how you got into this kind of trouble but i want to pray for you because the lord is saying i should release you from this hold my hand sir i bring you life in the name of jesus christ you will go back and return with a strange this man's life will change like day and night in the name of jesus christ mama please come i don't know this woman but I'm asked to pray for you. I look at you in the realm of the spirit and I'm seeing two hands like this. You're a woman of prayer. This is what I'm seeing in the realm of the spirit. Look at me, ma. You love God sincerely, but many things are going around. They are scattered in your life. And you have been asking, can God come? Can God step in? Even when you were there, you were praying that prayer. I heard you praying and the Lord is saying, I should tell you, he's giving you rest today. He's giving you supernatural rest. Madam, please stand up. Please stand up, ma'am. Please stand up. Where are you coming from, madam? It's from Sabongari. You are coming. Hold my hands. In the name of Jesus, the son of the living God, your life will turn around and that of your family. This is by the spirit of God, by the anointing of the Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ. Have I prayed for you, darling? Come. In the name of Jesus, I end captivity from your life by the power of the Holy Spirit. Right now, in the name of Jesus, I end captivity. Don't worry. I mustn't speak to you. As I lay my hands on you, I want to believe. There's someone, you are outside. Your baby is sick. Run with the person and come now. You are outside. Your baby is sick. Run with the person and come now. Daddy, sir, can I pray for you, sir? I'm going to pray for you. And the Lord is going to give you peace. And the Lord is going to raise people to help you. Now, sincerely speaking, I want to be honest with you. It is not within my power to stop you from getting married. I we generally can only advise because you see, let me teach you something, especially as a pastor. There are people who are following us from 45 nations of the world. And when you are ministering sensitive things like this, um, they are listening and every territory has laws. Are we together now? Things are a bit flexible in Nigeria, but if I were in America and I'm talking to this man like this and saying, don't marry another wife, the son can go and sue me or the ministry. So this is the reason why it's not maybe lack of faith. Are we together, sir? It is not within my power and I have no right to judge you. I can only declare the counsel of God and pray for you. Um, this is very important. When you are speaking to people, although by the spirit, it is important to be wise in your communication so that you do not say things that will bring you serious problem mama you are praying and you are still telling god there is one more thing you want to tell me i'm hearing your prayers come what is it give her the mic is that true 
you are standing there and you are praying and you are saying you wish that i can call you again there is one more issue what is the issue marriage my daughter's marriage. your daughter's marriage uh, ma mama let's let's pray if that is the issue you are a good woman i want to pray for your daughters and god said that's not what you need hold it what you need is destiny help us mama as i'm looking at you now they're about to throw you out of the house because your rent has expired give her the mic is that true yes sir. you need somebody to help you yes sir. seriously yes, sir. if not the time will come even what to eat will become an issue the lord said i should tell you forget this issue of marriage hmm? the major issue is the ministry of destiny helpers Amen. lord send people Amen. you see we must pray that god will grant us grace so that we can help our mothers it's a terrible thing for a woman at this age to be praying as if she never had a child as if she never trained anybody that's why we cause the spirit of delay that makes people to be established very late now according to scripture a good man leaves an inheritance for his children's children but sadly being as the situation is we must be able to turn back and be a blessing to these our loved ones a woman like this at her age should not be going around trying to look for food to eat again i pray that your loved ones will not look for food to eat that god himself will empower you and establish you and send you help mama don't cry in the name of jesus christ by the power of the holy spirit the lord will help you by the power of the holy spirit in the name of jesus see me after the service madam in jesus name thank you i pray for you sir in the name of jesus may the lord change your life change your situation right now in the name of jesus you are the one with the child please come we're going to pray for the sick now very quickly what's wrong with him he's running temperature this evening just this evening yes sir. but he has been having persistent cough, cough. cough. let's pray for him lord jesus i pray for this your dear son by the anointing of the holy spirit i decree and declare that this boy be made whole right now and for you his mother i command that everything the devil wants to put in your stomach let it leave you right now in the name of jesus christ i pray please why are they here mama come please stand up the lord is visiting you the Lord is saying, I should tell you, he's taking away reproach and pain Amen. from Amen. your life. Amen. This is what he's saying. Please stand up. Please stand up, man. That he's rolling away reproach. You see, as God speaks to one person, he's only using one person as a point of contact to speak to everyone. It doesn't mean that we have to call you. The time will not let that happen. Are we together now? For instance, madam, are you from Kaduna? Who is from Kaduna? Uh -uh, uh -uh, not just a person a woman there is a mama from kaduna that i want to speak to now this is a young lady now I, I, a, a mama like elderly woman there's a woman who came here from kaduna not a young lady please i i want to just speak to that person very quickly mommy look at me you have gone through so much pain the lord is saying i should tell you it's your children that will wipe your tears it's your children that will wipe your tears may the lord raise them and may they wipe your tears i pray for you in jesus name why is she here you are the deeper life um, lady you are you are a member of deeper life are you sure hold my hands lord jesus i pray that you do a miracle in her life right now put your hand on your stomach God is taking something away from your stomach now. I curse it. Something is leaving you now as I hold your hands. You are even surprised. Even you, you would not have known that there's something there. I'm seeing like a malignant growth, something that will later develop to a fibroid. I curse it by the God of heaven right now. In the name of Jesus Christ, let it be over now in Jesus' name. Come, my brother. You are James. I will pray for all of you, but you love Jesus. You love Jesus. I have to pray for you. Come. What's your name? Your name is James. Do you love Jesus? 
I prayed for one boy, one miracle service. Very bad friends. And I'm still seeing it again. I don't know where that guy is. And the Lord is asking that we pray for him again. You see, all these gentlemen, you have to be careful. It's important for us to be serious with God so that you don't land yourself in the police station. Hold my hands. I pray for you. The Lord is bringing restoration to your life in the name of Jesus Christ. Supernatural restoration. Sir, I pray for you. You will not, I don't know what is making, I'm seeing a thermometer up and down your chest. And the Lord is saying I should rebuke anything that has to do with your blood pressure. In Jesus' name, I command that it leaves you right now by the power of the Holy Spirit. I pray for all of you. Come, sir. Let me just make contact with you very quickly. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hasana. Hasana. We're going to pray for the sick now. We have to be very fast. Hasana. Hasana. I'm seeing someone with the name Hasana. Is there someone like that? Please, very quickly. Hasana. Whether you're inside, outside. Hasana from Kogi State. Hasana. Are you not Sado's sister? Is your name Hasana? You are sure? Look at me. The Lord is bringing restoration. Restoration. The Lord is saying I should stretch my hands on you. In the name of Jesus. May you be a benefactor of the mercy of God. The mercy of the living God. The mercy of the living God. The mercy of the living God. Come. The mercy. Yes, it's all right if your names are Hasana. The mercy of the living God. Your name too? Your name is Hasana. Come, I'm interested in what I'm seeing. Hold my hands, my dear. The Lord is bringing breakthrough to your family. There is a spirit that oppresses you and it must leave you now. Go! Now! In the name of Jesus, I curse you by the God of heaven. Let her go. Never to return. In the name of Jesus Christ. <laughs> She's afraid already. Hold my hands. Hold my hands. Hold my hands. The light shined in darkness. And the darkness comprehended it not. This lady you see. She's smiling. But there is a serious case. There is a very mad wild spirit in the name of Jesus Christ there's a reason why I ask her to hold my hands this lady has been tormented and oppressed in a way that you cannot imagine now I command that spirit this is koinonia I curse you by the God of heaven be gone now let her go now in the name of Jesus Christ you would see a gentle lady like this and she would not know what is responsible for her life this doesn't mean she's a devil. It doesn't mean she's possessed. No. It's just the advantage that Satan takes over the lives of people. I command in the name of Jesus. Let me tell you what is wrong with this lady is not a little issue. This thing doesn't show on the face. So you just see people smiling. But they are victims of a lot of things. Let me pray for you my dear. Come. Hold my hands. In the name of Jesus Christ I bring you life. Now. Life. Come. The devil wants to bring pain to your life. Hold my hands. I command it to come to an end now. Pain. Repeated cycles of tragedies. I curse it by the God of heaven. An anointing is coming upon you and the Lord himself is giving you a supernatural miracle right now. There are three ladies I just heard the cry of children and there are three ladies you are standing in for your families now as I'm speaking the anointing of the Holy Spirit is going to come upon them standing in for their families standing in for their families standing in for their families let the oppression in your family end now this girl's family has gone through all kinds of things. This is koinonia. I bring you the life and power that is in the name of Jesus. Now, this is what we're going to do. Please listen very carefully. Um, you know that we take out time to minister more specifically to people. I wish that we had all the time, but we have to work with time. And um, we're going to pray for the sick now. 
please listen whether you are inside or outside if you are trusting god listen please whether you are inside or outside aside from this particular cases if you are trusting god for fruitfulness for your loved one or any other person whether you are inside or outside please don't come in at random i want you to come in i want to minister to you myself aside from that now we're going to pray for the sick overflow one please all of you should walk to the front of your projector you'll be ministered to overflow two and the ones extension of overflow four please walk to the projector stand outside overflow three walk to your projector stand outside very quickly and those inside here i want you to just walk out to me very quickly we're going to minister to people in that order there are so many people it has pleased the lord to make this place a place of supernatural miracles please it, it doesn't matter where you stand if you are outside don't come in just move to your projector outside hallelujah blessed be the name of the lord we're going to minister to you now it'll be very fast whilst we're doing that please your prayer request if you've not written your prayer request or that of your loved ones those online you're yet to write do that quickly so that the ushers can follow and then we'll do that very quickly every other thing from here will now be the prophetic declarations there are so many people inside and outside we are going to pray for the sick the lord has given us the grace he's given us the capacity there are people going through all kinds of things and um, in as much as we teach you how to live in health and wholeness we cannot allow the devil buffet you some of you are standing in for your loved ones some of you are standing here with incurable diseases hiv you've heard the testimonies there is nothing that has not been healed in this house sir the lord is going to heal you you will not die that virus will not kill you you hear what i'm saying i don't mean to embarrass you i hope you are not embarrassed because i look at you if i don't pray for you i'm seeing very soon this thing will eat you up i don't have to say more than that but you know what i'm talking about there is no virus there is no situation that has not been healed in this place and you know we don't announce miracles if they are not medically verified so that it doesn't look like people are just faking things so believe the lord especially if you are here for the first time it doesn't matter who ministers to you i just want you to believe there is a corporate grace that is at work here to minister and bring miracles to people will be very fast please those outside you'll be very fast uh pastor jimmy let's see um you handle overflow one outside um pastor alpha overflow two um pastor femi let's see pastor femi and promise go to overflow three mike you walk with a jimmy outside there and then um have i told you where to go to okay so would we'll go in that order i'm sure that i may just walk alone here there are a number of people who are not here we give those opportunities because it's also an opportunity to train and build people please quickly let's go father we agree that the corporate grace you have released upon this house and this family for miracles let it be released regardless of who ministers we minister in the name of jesus we bring that name that is above all names over every situation let your anointing speak this is a moment oh god where you cure the incurable this is a moment where you step into the lives of people let it be a quick walk let everyone here return with testimonies in jesus name i'm going to begin to minister to you but there's one person here the anointing of the spirit will come upon you so strongly that will be the signal of the grace to minister here right now this is uh, don't don't mind me i do all my crazy things um let's just walk by the spirit someone here in front the anointing of the spirit will come on you in such a mighty way the moment that happens then i begin to pray for the sick now thank you jesus for your mighty power that's the person down there so i can pray for you now bless you father thank you all right guys let's give god the very best please you can sit down you can sit down while you are sitting let's be praying because as soon as i'm done praying for the sick we'll address other issues very quickly so that we can finish on time the lord bless you in jesus name Le 
Gete Borro Suzy Please help them whether you are an usher or not. New levels. There are people God is fishing out here, new dimensions. Shebros Kaparu Shabradi Salarush. Shabros Katabrandega de Go Shalabradiasha. Engreto Susa Brigatia. It's a call to your spirit man. It's a call to your spirit man. This is not for everybody. It's a call to your spirit man. If it's your call, you will hear it. 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 You must hear it. If it's your call, you will hear it. Your spirit will pick the signals of the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. The spirit of prophecy is upon that man. Who can stand against the Lord? No one. No one. Who can stand against our King? No one can. No one It's not a ritual it's not a ritual no but listen brothers and sisters we bring this prayer request before the God of heaven representing the pain of people representing the mockery of darkness and you've seen all sorts of miracles that has come from here and we're going to pray now the Lord is asking me take off my shoes we're going to pray right now please I want you to participate I take time to explain this so that we all understand um, I may not be able to minister to everybody one by one but this is a representation of the cry and the request of people the other people are ministering to those outside don't worry those outside if they are still ministering to you just hang on those who um, have been ministered to already please just follow your screen can we stretch our hands in one minute and i like you to just pray in the spirit pray in the spirit to the god of heaven who answers prayers jesus jesus the son of the living god now arise O lord Come to your resting place. Brood upon these requests. Let there be mighty, mighty, mighty miracles. Mighty miracles.
in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ I decree and declare by the power of the Holy Spirit that every request here represented tonight is turned into a testimony it's turned into a testimony in the name of Jesus the Son of the living God every request here no matter how impossible is turned into strange and speedy testimonies in the name of Jesus I decree and declare that for every request you have written here and all the ones online I release my faith and in the name of Jesus I declare let this be the last time you will submit this request the last time you will submit this request let this be the last time you will submit this request unto him that answers prayers the one who has beckoned on us to approach his throne without fear to approach with boldness and confidence we decree and declare in the name of jesus most high the son of the living god every request here i say again is turned into a testimony in the name of jesus turned into a testimony by the power of the holy spirit turned into a testimony by the power of the holy spirit turned into a testimony hallelujah this is the last phase of the meeting i want to pray and prophesy upon your life it will never tire me to say this in my opinion the greatest part of this service is what is about to happen now because believers are used to charismatism falling down rolling and so on and so forth we many times downplay the place of prophecy prophecy is very powerful and have taught us that there are two dimensions to the operation of the prophetic there is the revelatory dimension of the prophetic that god allows by his spirit to bring comfort to bring access to light and information that works hand in hand with the gift of the word of knowledge but the greater and more superior dimension of the prophetic is the creative dimension of prophecy where the word of god makes realities that have no business happening to happen the word creates a scene and adds it to the pages of your life so that something you had no business walking in you will all of a sudden find yourself walking in it and remember i told us the last discussion before we began to pray that one of the greatest reasons why people are limited is because of inadequate dimension of the anointing so alongside this prayer i'm going to be praying a prayer of impartation there are people th this thing is not just for showmanship listen if you know god and you love him and you see the needs of people you will covet the unction and the grace of god this has nothing to do with showmanship when people begin to make showmanship out of it, it is inaccurately used hallelujah let's correct things now let's recreate things now please lift your hands i want to pray for you oh come oh come me man and run some captivities why yeah Oh, come, oh, come, Emmanuel, and grant some captivity, Israel. Rejoice, rejoice, for Emmanuel has come to us his israel in the name that is above all names i decree and declare right now every door that has been closed over anyone here in the name of jesus the son of the living god i command that door be open now The 
Bible says, have you heard of this saying that a city gives birth in one day? But he said, as soon as Zion travails, he says, she shall give birth to son. I decree and declare, whatever you have been incubating for a long time, revealed to you by the spirit, but yet to manifest, there is grace for performance. And I command that you must have a manifestation now. I decree it. I declare it by the power of the Holy Ghost. Manifested blessings. Manifested miracles. Hallelujah. I decree and declare where you have to struggle for everything, labor for everything, I open you up to a dimension of prepared blessings. I open you up to a dimension of prepared blessings in the name of Jesus Christ. I don't know who has despised the grace of God upon your life. He said, and Jabez was more honorable than his brethren. I prophesy to you, may an unction come upon your life tonight that will distinguish you. I decree it. I declare it. May an unction come upon your life tonight that distinguishes you. In the name of Jesus Christ. The Bible says, Elijah told Ahab, saddle your ass and run, for I hear the sound of the abundance of rain and Ahab was already light years ahead of Elijah but the Bible says the hand of the Lord came upon Elijah and all of a sudden he started running on barefoot listen the Bible says that the disciples were six hours ahead of Jesus moving on their boat and Jesus got up and started walking on water there are many of you there are several things that have limited your pace I want to prophesy speed for you there is a grace that makes men to pursue to overtake to recover I speak to you in the name of Jesus as I pray for you the anointing of God will come on some of you and you will want to run physically please hold them I release that grace that grace for speed receive that grace now No delay. I command speed. Speed of accomplishment. Speed of accomplishment. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Isaiah 6 it says, Arise, shine, for your light is come, and the glory of the Lord is risen upon you. It says, For darkness shall cover the earth and gross darkness the people. It says, But upon you the glory of the Lord shall arise. Verse 3 says, Gentiles, you won't look for them again. Gentiles shall come to your light, and even their arrogant kings to the brightness of your rising. It says, Where you have been deserted, so that no man passes through you, I will make you an eternal excellency and a joy of many generations. I decree and declare from today, every gift you have, every dream, every ability that is dormant and not being blessed and rewarded. I command Gentiles to come to your light now. I command Gentiles to come to your light, to come to your business, to come to your profession, to come to your ministry. I make it so by the Spirit of the Living God. Hallelujah. And David said, Is there any man of the house of Saul that I may show him kindness? And they went to bring a crippled man called Mephibosheth. And when he came, he sat down with David and he says, You will continue to dine with me here in the name of Jesus, where your strength cannot take you. Satos where your current level of achievement cannot take you I decree and declare may the hand of God that picks a man from a dunghill to a place of prominence may that hand pick you to the next level of your life may that hand pick you to the next level of your life hallelujah it says and I will restore to you the years 
alas master for it was borrowed they borrowed an axe head and it fell double trouble and he said no don't worry where fell it i want to speak to people here who have lost things you have lost relationships you have lost money you have lost opportunities there is a system in the kingdom where they can call back things he said they are taking for a prey and none say it restore in the name of jesus by the name of he who can manipulate time and make yesterday become tomorrow and tomorrow become yesterday i command a restoration now i command a restoration now i command Hear me anyone here called jobless you are looking for a job or any of your loved ones in the parable that jesus gave he saw some people sitting idle he said why sitest thou idle he said no man employ us and he said go to the vineyard when he speaks there is always a job in the name of jesus i create a space for you now in the name of the lord jesus i create a space for you now I speak anyone here or anyone standing for any family that has had delay especially in the area of fruitfulness he said be fruitful the first command he gave man right now in the name of Jesus hear me Mary said how shall these things be seeing that I know not a man he didn't say Joseph will come he said the power of the highest shall overshadow you therefore i prophesy everything that represents unfruitfulness it dies now in the name of jesus it dies now in the name of jesus i speak to everyone God worry. carry your children now carry your children now every aspect of your life that represents barrenness be it in the works of your hands be it in your finances in the name of Jesus the son of the living God I command supernatural results supernatural results supernatural results I pray for those who wrote jam and didn't like their results I change the result now I change the results now I change the results now hallelujah every family here that has refused to move forward i don't care for what reason in the name that is above all names your accomplishment for the next one month will dwarf what you have done in the last five years in the name of jesus believe it help them please believe it in the name of jesus Hallelujah. This is one of my favorite blessings to people. The ministry of destiny help us. I discovered, brothers and sisters, hear me, that it always flows from God through men. Everything money can buy, relationships can buy it. There are needless battles, needless battles that relationships can solve. The distance between you and the next testimony may just be a relationship but you see no destiny helper comes by his by himself they are called they are called they never come by themselves they do not even know he says the king sent for Joseph and they brought him out of his dungeon in the name of Jesus whoever must speak for you in high places in this season whoever must endorse the testimony of God upon your life as a man of God as a businessman whoever must advocate for you where your voice cannot reach I prophesy to the north I prophesy to the south I prophesy to the east and west wherever your destiny helpers are I command them to come into your life now Hallelujah. Listen. 
I know a woman years ago when we held our crusade in 2009 in Abuja it was her camp that we used she's not even educated but she had access to two people a very wealthy family that needed a miracle and she prayed for them and they became destiny helpers let me tell you something the easiest way to be wealthy is through relationships somebody can get up by the spirit and make you a partaker of his blessings are we together now we've discussed on finances and all the principles but brothers and sisters there is a dimension of speed that god can give a man and this is to help you be established fast so that you can focus on the purposes of the kingdom there is this spirit that makes people to be established so late it's not that they are lazy you cannot be established over 100,000 per month. Believe me. You cannot be established over 50,000 per month. You are too generous to even keep that money. And whilst you give, God will orchestrate men, but we have learned that Satan can hinder them. I'm praying specifically for finances. I want to invoke the mystery of divine supply. There is such a reality like supernatural provision. This ministry is a, is a tearsome testimony of what happens when men covenant with themselves to make sure you rise he said men came to david in the cave of adulon entered a covenant with themselves that they must make him king you don't need plenty people you just need one person anointed and directed wherever your financial helper is in the name that is above all names i declare that between now and the next two weeks of june may they appear in your life may they appear appear in your life hallelujah every dying business here every dying career every dying ministry that is as though you are not called I give life to that which is dying now I give life to that which is dying now hallelujah father it is my prayer from my heart for your people that by miracle service June you will return here ten times better literally ten times better hallelujah please lift your hands I want to release something there are people here you love God I gave you an example of this anointing there needs to be an upgrade you see the thing with the anointing is if it is there it is there if it is not there it is not there it's as simple as that the anointing is a very obvious quality of god it's not something you struggle to see there are many of us especially pastors who are trusting god for certain dimensions of grace it can manifest as anything wisdom strategies supernatural grace the grace for performance i want to pray for you activations are very necessary to drive people into great results i stretch my hands right now in the name of jesus every dimension of the anointing that is available in this house every dimension from prophetic dimensions Jabo Sikata. there are people receiving it now there are others is being activated others is being multiplied in the name of jesus i open you up now strange levels of the prophetic strange levels the eyes that see and the ears that hear the impulses of the spirit i pray right now the manifestation of the spirit of revelation receive it right now revelation inside 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 take it now take it now revelation revelation into the mysteries of the kingdom hallelujah every operation of the gift of the spirit that is barren in your life and needed for your destiny i stretch my hands and i activate it now receive it right now i activate it now i activate it now i activate it now by the power of the holy spirit i release upon you right now fresh mantle for leadership 
supernatural dimension of the leadership grace let it come upon you you may be weak but it will distinguish you in the name of Jesus Christ but thou shall remember the Lord thy God it is he that giveth thee power brothers and sisters there is such a thing called the power the anointing the unction the capacity to create an atmosphere around you that attracts wealth I don't know how many people it will please the Lord to release this grace but I stretch my hands let it please the God of heaven to bring men into this dimension right now receive it now the power to prosper the power to prosper you may be weak but the power to prosper bring in favor the ministry of men into your life hallelujah I don't know what has brought your prayer life down but right now in the name of Jesus fresh fire upon your altar fresh fire upon your altar capacity to pray in the spirit in the name of Jesus Christ hear me whoever fights you goes down instantly I say it again whoever fights you whether in the secret or the open goes down instantly It says you shall call on Aaron and his sons he said and you shall take your honor and give him honor is a mantle is transferable let me tell you this thing called honor is not about accomplishment there is a grace that makes people distinguished I pray for you from today that grace for honor I release it upon your life may you be honored at the gates of your destiny may you be strangely honored at the gates of your destiny whoever has said over his dead body for you to move forward tonight may their prayers be answered We believe in family in this place no matter how lifted you are if your family is not lifted he said as for me and my house we believe in family we pray for our children whether in the womb or born we pray I prophesy over every family here that the devil is trying to corrupt the testimony of God's faithfulness tonight in the name of Jesus supernatural lifting for every family 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 and finally I pray for you in a way you have never seen whoever looks at your face I compel them to favor you listen the Bible says Esther found favor on everyone that looked at her for as long as you made contact with Esther and you looked at her face you were compelled by an anointing believe me I have seen this thing work in my life I prophesy to you men who have no business blessing you as they look at you I compel it from their spirit may they bless and favor you may they bless and favor you may they bless and favor you thank you for lifting Thank you for lifting. 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 We're rounding up, but the Lord is giving me a word here. The Lord is speaking to a family here. And he's saying, I should tell you, it will be like a dream. When in three weeks, it will change your life. It will be like a dream. 21 days in three weeks, he will change your life. Whoever this is for, I release it to you. In the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord is also speaking to one person. 
you are going to start a business next month on the 5th and I'm seeing before 31st it has made you a millionaire in the name of Jesus I'm not motivating you I'm speaking as the spirit is giving me unction you don't believe it you will never see it never ever see it every difficulty you came here with in the name of Jesus you leave it down here and walk back free in the name of Jesus quickly in one minute everyone still standing I want to make two altar calls now very quickly the first please keep standing everybody no moving around inside outside please there are people here men and women who you have seen the things that the Lord has done by his spirit please let's keep standing to honor them and whilst you watch the power of God move the Holy Spirit began to convict you that you need to belong to this family of faith the family of the Lord Jesus Christ you are saying man of God if you will pray for me I'm ready to completely surrender my heart to Jesus I don't care how many times you have come out in response to an altar call the second category of people who will join them are those who at one time you have made commitments for the Lord Jesus Christ but you have found yourself derailing in many ways and you're saying man of God if you will lead me I will run I will run run to Jesus now these two categories of people I know there are people outside overflow one two three wherever you are please our time is gone I want you to run like there's fire on the mountain I'm going to count five wherever you are leave your seat and run now please clear the way for them one quickly quickly let's honor them as they come quickly run to Jesus now please quickly inside outside young and old quickly quickly I have decided to follow Jesus no turning back run to Jesus no turning Please keep coming don't sit back there now look at me brothers and sisters I appreciate you for this great decision you have made the Bible says as many who will come to him he will in no wise cast away when you come to him he has the power to make you you have no ability to change yourself but you have the willingness to hand over your life I want to pray for you listen I don't want you to just recite this as a poem I want you to mean it from the depth of your heart standing before Jesus the firstborn among we the begotten and his holy church I want you to make this confession from the depth of your heart lift your right hand as a symbol of surrender and say after me Lord Jesus say it again Lord Jesus I believe in you that you died for me you shed your blood for me you rose again for me tonight I willingly receive your life into my spirit I declare with my mouth the Lord Jesus and I confess with my heart that God raised him from the dead I declare right now that eternal life is mine I receive it into my spirit I'm free from the power of sin the flesh and Satan from today I move forward ever and backward never in the name of Jesus keep your hands lifted I pray for you spirit of the living God you represent the presence of Jesus now in the name of Jesus Christ I'm praying in a very supernatural way spirit of the living God by the power of the Holy Spirit let these ones never be the same again 
in the name of Jesus Christ may they never be the same again I pray by the power of the Holy Spirit that their lives will be objects of praise in the name of Jesus I declare your sins forgiven I declare a new life for you I break away from you every influence of darkness capable of jeopardizing the quality of God's life in you I release you to be victorious I make you victorious by the power that is in the name of Jesus hallelujah praise the Lord thank you for this great decision now I want you to follow the lady waving her hands they would um, lead you outside have a few details and then um, just communicate a few things to you please cooperate with them the Lord bless you I love you and congratulations very quickly please guide them guide them very quickly let's do this as fast as we can dearly beloved I hope you were blessed by this message I want you to keep doing something for this man of God our man of God Apostle Joshua Salmon and that is I want you to keep on praying for him that the cause of the gospel may have free flow in him that he may be granted boldness to continue with his commission of Jesus Christ and that all provisions be given unto him as he continues in this journey of Christianity and then don't forget to like this video don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you are new here don't also forget to leave a comment in the comment section and then keep sharing keep sharing abroad and let's all keep sharing jesus i'll see you again bye